So if you guys you guys have signed up for WWE Network, right? Friday. I signed up on Friday. Yeah. About um, a week ago or so, I think, yeah. Okay, so if you guys watch the Hall of Fame, fast forward through Lita's <laughs> I did. I saw Oh my god, Lita's was terrible. About? The Hall of Fame. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts was amazing. Scott uh-huh. Hall was pretty short and sweet, and Ultimate Warrior was really yeah. good too. Who, who but, was awful? Oh, did you say Val Lita. Oh. No, Lita. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You no, know, did you fucking oh, Mr. terrible? T. Mr. No, T's no, no, no. pretty funny though. <laughs> well, yeah, but not intentionally. Oh my god, he's talking about his mother's the whole time. Mom. His mom talking the, about his mom. The entire thing was about his mom's vagina. Like yeah. the whole he had like forty <laughs> minutes of just him talking about like her urinary tract infections and like yeah. how his he said how his brothers didn't rape people. Like yeah. how proud of him he was. And he actually said that. <laughs> yeah, he, he said, said rape. He said My favorite part is when he's like listening, listing off like all the days he like loves his mother on, yeah. and like and the, and the crowd starts chanting "What?" after every one he says, <laughs> and Stone Cold to the front row just laughing his ass off. Oh man! He's like, he's like, it's Friday. I'm in love with my yeah. mother. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't sing that, but he he really was. He goes just off the rails. He didn't say one word. I don't even think he said the word wrestling. I don't think so either. Like what? <laughs> just talk no, about he his did. Mom. He did. But he was talking about amateur oh, wrestling for his brothers. That's the only time. Oh he yeah. That. <laughs> right. 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 They're gonna be boxers. They're gonna be wrestlers. They're gonna run track. My mom. <laughs> you know. Uh... And he doesn't know that words have s's on the end of them either. No, no. <laughs> you know, Jake the Snake Roberts would not be there if not for the help of DDP Yoga. Oh yeah, Scott Hall was there too. Which was is, he? Yeah. Which apparently is yoga. a which apparently is a product yeah. that they sell now. Oh yeah, DDP is all over the place, yeah. man. Yeah. Have you watched that little reality show he's got on YouTube? He's like, oh, this wrestler's yeah. and shit, so I'm gonna save him, and he does. He doesn't. I mean, those guys like he actually. No, yeah, and he Jake literally. Scott yeah. Hall looked pretty damn good compared to what they've looked yeah. like in the past. Scott oh, Hall, yeah. especially. Yeah. I mean, Razor Ramon. I'm sorry. Scott Hall didn't get inducted. Razor Ramon did. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, but they own both uh, of them. Why does that matter now? I think they're going to well, induct Scott Hall separately, like with Kevin Nash. Yeah. Or the <laughs> NWO. Or something. Yeah. Is that possible? But yeah, that, uh, DDP yeah, actually in there twice. introduced, okay. or he did the the lead-in thing for, for Jake. No, so, that's cool. Yeah, like, I mean, it was all, all of that was acknowledged. They didn't, they, at no point... Was anything unsaid that like everyone else already knew? They didn't like you know dance around anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think including that's including Ultimate Warriors thing was yeah. he was like oh that DVD remember that that's that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but Jake got real serious there for a second talking about drugs and how he was a shitty father and all this stuff. Yeah. And, like kids were all there. I was like damn dude. Yeah, that was real talk, man. That was yeah. cool. His was I the mean, best, that, was, his was the best one I thought. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was really good. It, but like the whole thing, I couldn't believe like that was like that existed. <laughs> like, <Yeah. holy> <laughs> so what? What? It was awesome. Why? Why did you wait to pick it up, uh, Josh? As far as like, did you get it for WrestleMania? Was that the motivator? Be right back. Well, <laughs> well I just don't like. I don't care about all that stuff. All the wrestling now. Like at all, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't, you know, like new guys and stuff. Or maybe, maybe there's some fun stuff there, and I'll find discover it. But uh, I wanted the back catalog. I yeah. wanted to relive Monday nights, you know, from 19. But I mean, I, I guess I meant oh. it didn't come out a week. Like you, you, it came out and you waited a little while. Like why wasn't an instant purchase? Well, I just, I don't no, I mean it, it was just kind of a time thing. Okay, honestly, uh, I did the trial thing, and that was pretty cool, mm-hmm. and. And then I just I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. And Cole was pimping it, and I was, you know, so like, yeah, I'm. This is going to happen. And since then, I have I've like watched some old. I've actually I didn't like the WWF stuff like growing up. Yeah. But since I've kind of gone back, besides like Royal Rumble, like were you a WCW like, guy? Growing up. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Yo, yeah, 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 right. yeah, big time. Like way. Weird. And now, now that I can kind of see them from a distance, it's so terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that stuff is really bad, and the WWF stuff from the time actually had a lot of pretty decent kind of like I missed a lot of that, the yeah. Rock and Stone Cold stuff. Like, oh, you're talking Attitude and, Era. Like, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and, and like 
Mick, Fo Mick Foley stuff, like old school two plays. Like none of those. I didn't really watch any of those guys, and they were damn good at their jobs. But but looking back, did I kind of always had the impression when I watched WCW that like the people that watch WWF were from like a lower socioeconomic level. Like I thought WWE <laughs> was like for poor people, and WCW was like you know kind of the elite wrestling at that I time. I would think it's the opposite. Yeah, well, see, it that's is, what people yeah. tell me. I think my, I think I convinced thought, myself of that. You know, like I always the, thought uh, WCW was for old people that like appreciated the craft of that's for professional people. wrestling. <laughs> it was like like, like yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I never I, got I, I, I watched I get... the triple cage match the other day with David Arquette as the champion. Yeah. That's not oh. anything. It was <laughs> it was horrible. Was, was that say... based on that movie he was in? What, what yeah, was that Ready movie to called? Rumble. Ready to Rumble. Did we yeah. we yeah. saw that in theaters. I did. I can't remember. I didn't I didn't see it. Who did I go with? <laughs> I probably went with my I don't know. I'm neighbor. surprised you didn't go with me because yeah. I've never seen it. Oh man, I paid money for that. Um no, I mean the only thing I ever got and the first thing I watched WCW wise when I picked it up was Goldberg stuff. So I did uh I think I got bashed at the beach or whatever. What's he up to? I don't know. I think he's I don't know. I have no idea what Goldberg's okay? doing. That was a he's show. Hosting, he's he's still hosting a car something. show. Car show? Yeah, he had some car show on um Spike or something like that or I don't know. Bill's cars? Yeah. No one watches Spike. He spears them. <laughs> Top Gear yeah, with doing... Bill Goldberg. He hasn't fought MMA yet, has he? I know, I'm, I know Bobby Lashley did. No, he's old, bro. <laughs> yeah, but so. I guess Lashley was a little bit well, younger. I mean, he's a lot younger, yeah. I don't know, like Batista did. He's pretty old. Yeah, but he's yeah, Batista did. also yeah. terrible. Um, I, I think there's there's rumors that CM Punk's going to fight MMA, too. Uh, he's got to do we'll something. See. What? He's got to do something. Yeah. And I can't remember. Like, Bill? I think um, when Josh and I decided we were watching WrestleMania, or when he decided for me that I was watching WrestleMania, or whatever happened, um, I figured at that point I should go ahead and get the network and get caught up because I was um, can't get caught up on the network. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, now I got I wanted to really check out the NXT stuff, which is funny because I've had Hulu Plus the entire time, but it took me to get the network before I went back and watched that stuff. I really I really dig dig the NXT stuff as far as yeah, I, I really like it too. It feels really fresh. It feels like it's a nice break from, I don't know, everything that the big shows are. So, um, and actually just getting to see some new, new wrestling was kind of cool. Um, and that was a very hipster wrestling thing that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just don't have any connections with the, the, the I don't know. We watched what I want to say this, this will either be my fourth or fifth WrestleMania in a row. And before that, I've only watched two other WrestleManias. Like we did one, I think we did WrestleMania 2000, and then uh, w one other random one. But um, I think we did it as a joke four or five years ago, and then The Rock was back, and I was actually interested in seeing what they did with him. And so because The Rock isn't even involved, I assumed I wouldn't watch it again. But I also have trouble saying no if I know one other person that is actually watching WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, I'll watch <laughs> WrestleMania with you. So... Um, I knew yeah, I'd get I'm my fill of that party. stuff. I'm having a party tonight. So Are you fun. really? I was going to say, do yeah. you want, uh, like, should we like load up Google Plus and we can all do commentary, <laughs> live commentary um, <laughs> while we're all watching it? So um, now, oh, so, now we just got to convince. Uh, I don't know how we would convince Ethan to get the the network, but I, I don't even have any any means of uh, watching it. But I guess if you guys would send me like it's an not international, week, I, I'd be fine. It's not, I have no idea. I'm, I've, I've, there's one place in all of Berlin that shows wrestling, and it's like like 1989 to 1995 <laughs> wrestling matches. It's like, I, I don't know what channel they're watching it on, but it constantly plays, unless they've got a bunch of videotapes that they, they put in there. But I don't know how they react to wrestling over here. I don't. I, you just don't. They're so somber about absolutely everything. Like it's just like oh, I don't know if the Germans like it or not. So huh. I don't know. Nilmar is he still in there? I wonder I how think the UK. Took off. I think wrestling. he took off. Yeah. But okay. he's he's the biggest wrestling fan in our audience. So. Oh, really? Okay. Can't we just share an account? Probably, with Ethan. Yeah, this, yeah. I mean, they're not going to block access, right? Why don't? Why, why did all, why don't all three of us I mean, get accounts? Oh, it's live in yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know why it's live in Germany. If it's live, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. You should look into it because. Oh, let me look into that. Yeah, I've me, been watching like, a lot of easy. Let me purchase. When I find a job, I'm going to get on that. Yes, that is the first thing I'm going to do. Well, the justification for me was I always ended up doing at least one pay per view a year, and that's yep. that's six months of the network. So, uh, what was the big WCW one? 
What was uh, Starcade? Starcade. Okay, that's right. That's right. I remember Cole. But we no, no. got that a couple times, didn't we? Yeah, I think. Did, was I with you when we watched the uh, Bret Hart versus Ho- or Hogan and Sting after like the the culmination of their feud, and then Bret Hart was there? Was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that was because then because then we played the game endlessly yeah. after that. Play so. the game. Oh, that was such a good it's game. To play the game. Hey, this is. Uh, <laughs> This, believe it or not, is Super Gaming Best Friends from HorribleNight.com. Uh, we're, we're coming live. That was a fucking live. amazing segue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just cutting in there. Um, it is Sunday morning. Yeah, April 6th, 2014. I'm your host, Justin Lacey, joined tonight by Ethan Moses. Say hi, Ethan. Hey, guys. How's it going? Long and, time no see. And Coleman Rowe. Hey, some people call this church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love, this is, yeah, I could, I could attend this every week. Uh, and Josh Lee. Only if Josh Lee's here. Hi, guys. Yeah. I'm looking up whether or not WWE Network's available in Germany. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> while, while we've been absorbed in wrestling, what have you been doing, Ethan? Um, well, uh, I have a bit of somber news. Uh, unfortunately, uh, under the guise of TV repairmen, 100,000 Russian troops have infiltrated Berlin and are currently holding us hostage. Uh, so I've, I've taken the time... <laughs> To be able to uh, do this podcast, but mm-hmm. I'm supposed to, uh, you know, lead a team of uh, uh, street smart mm-hmm. uh, expatriates to kind of fight against the Russians. <laughs> um, so, you know, Is that just that's the, what I'm doing at this point. Luckily, that's the crowd you've been hanging out with before they invade. Oh, yeah. I've been <laughs> hanging out with these dudes that are really good. One guy's really good with knives. One guy's really good with kicks. Another guy shoots things real well. I got the guy that, you know, I'm kind of like the glue that brings everyone together, but I really <laughs> should be practicing with them right now. But I'm like, you guys, I'll catch up, you know. So it's pretty <laughs> Pretty intense here nowadays. That's, that's exciting. I'm so. glad you get a French guy. <laughs> do what? Do you have a French guy? And what's uh, no, not Leon. Germany. Whoa, no, no, we don't do that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, French people, but I don't know what you can do. <laughs> they can give up. But that's about no. That's about it. No, I've been I've been I'm, just watching. Uh, uh, I've I've been watching the uh, the skies and the streets and the sewers because that's where they come from at times. And uh, you know, it's 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 frightening. We're, we're it, I mean, based on the news, it's horrible right now so i'm just keeping on the lookout Terrible. that's actually not true i, I don't want to say that because no, that's going to end up on fox news <laughs> i want to know how well, this kid, he's <laughs> i want to know how their disguise of being tv repairman actually worked like well in like, germany how many two people how many are there for every job Okay. Well, there's uh, there was a hundred thousand TV repairmen, and there's two people for every one job. And so when fifteen guys showed up at everybody's house to repair their TVs, everyone was like, "Oh, this is normal." <laughs> <laughs> That's the way they do things here. So it was like, uh, yeah, they they and I didn't even have a TV, but I still let them in. I was like, "Oh, there's probably something that I need." So. So they have yeah. seven and a half TVs in their house. <laughs> they have yeah, they have a lot of TVs. They love TVs here. That yeah. So no, everything's great. Sunny day. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> What, how does it feel to be podcasting in the middle of the day and not in the middle I, of the night? You know, I just want to say that compare my attitude and my lack of cynicism today to the two o'clock shows, and this is the real Ethan. This is the Ethan. Ethan. This is the Ethan that you've all come to love. You know. So yeah, I'm excited. This is great. I'm ready to talk about video games and wrestling and yeah, and international invasions with everybody. We'll try to keep, we'll try to keep up with you because everybody else is still just waking up and confused as to why we're. I like it. I like the tables have turned a little. Why bit. I showered before sitting in front of a computer at this hour? So, mm, I brushed yeah. my teeth for you guys too. I was I was thinking oh, I was thinking about that. I was like, do I, I don't necessarily have to brush my teeth for a podcast, but melt the microphone. Um, hmm. Josh, anything else going on? I'm re- uh, yes. Okay. All right. Wait. Bes- wait besides, besides wrestling. Yeah. I'm still, reading, like, I'm still reading a ton of comic books on my tablet. So I tell you guys about my. My really bad experience with the Marvel Digital no. thing. Okay, they you know they have a subscription. Marvel's got a like a monthly subscription, and you get access to like their like a huge uh, portion of their library mm-hmm. that, that is they have scanned and or whatever. And uh, it's pretty cool. You know, you can you don't get like the latest issues of stuff. They're like six months behind, but that that's like you only miss like three issues. Uh, and all that like the huge back catalog, but the interface. If you got an iPad, their app's great. If you got Android, yeah. that uh, app is meh. Not, it's not that great. It's pretty good uh, on an iPad. Compared to the interface <laughs> on a Windows tablet. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I had oh. an email exchange with their support thing, and they're like, "Yeah, it's just like, sorry, it 
It's not good, but we're working on it. But how was how was maybe not? It might not happen. How was the level of that support exchange compared to your recent Xbox support experience? <laughs> that was the uh, it want- was not as cordial, I guess, or it was informal. <laughs> it felt or felt more formal than than the informal Xbox uh, exchange. Uh, you know, congratulations though to uh, Cindy or whoever that was. Uh, oh, I can't remember her name now. Um, on her recent engagement, uh, she what? was she informed me of what? When Cindy at Xbox we support. Were chat- what? <laughs> it was. I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out why I can't buy things on my live account. Like, I couldn't buy anything, and it turned out that I had some restriction on my account due to potential fraudulent activity. Being inactive that they for could so long. Never explain. Yeah, well, they 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 just could never. They never did, at any point did anyone explain why they turned my account off. Like mm-hmm. I'm mean, actually used. I just couldn't buy anything new. And like, what? Why? Why is this? Well, we, it's under investigation. Like, well, t- when is that going to be done? You know. And so I went through all this chats and phone crap and whatever, and I got bumped up to this extra tier of special team whatever. And uh, and at one point there. I got into this chat with Cindy, and uh, she proceeds to tell me about her, like how great her life is right now because I'm like, you know, hey, I'm having some problems with my live account. You know, she's like, oh, you know, how you doing today? I was like, you know, I'm great. How are you? She's like, oh, great. Thanks for asking. My boyfriend oh, my has proposed God. to me. I'm so happy. <laughs> like, why are you typing this to me? Well, what are you doing? She's insulating herself from the usual grief she probably gets from people. So she's like, if I tell them I'm in a good mood, they won't put me in a bad mood. I mean, kind of smart on her. That's, that's social engineering at that point. I don't know. I think she got you. Well, except that it just basically made my day worse. Because I'm just like, well, you're having a great day, and I'm not. And <laughs> Except that it was a dude in India who just made up the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> <laughs> like that was his can. He did yeah. type it awful fast. Maybe that was his little <laughs> click the button to insert the text thing. Stop was like, I just. <laughs> oh God! Wait a minute. What if Cindy wasn't even a person at all? I mean, computers—they're going. I mean, oh shit! She's sentient man. Holy shit! Like they—they're already predicting that there's going to be no jobs left in the future. This is happening. Cindy. The last job that we can do, customer service, has been taken over by robots. Don't worry about the Russians, friends. Terminators. <laughs> Or I was talking to someone's like. connect. Is what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just holding up Siri, Anyways. Siri to the phone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't read Star Wars Rogue Squadron comics. They're bad. Okay. Do read Saga Saga by uh, uh, Brian K. Vaughn, who was the writer of Why, Why the Last Man. Uh, super good sci-fi uh like space opera e kind of, but in with a very mature kind of twist. Super, super, super good. Kind of wish that saga. Google That's Plus right. had switched over to Cole's facial expressions because my reactions were just completely blank. I don't like Cole could validate whether what you were saying was kind of cool. Yeah, and he did. Saga's guy. Okay, <laughs> but Star Wars is good too. You should read that. The Star Wars. The Star Wars. Yeah, it's uh, they took the they original reboot it. No, they, they took the original script of George Lucas and made a comic out of it. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. So it's like uh, Luke Starkiller, and it's pretty cool. Oh, no way. Yeah. Like They're like on uh, that one? a Dark Horse uh, app, if you can get that. So on your- oh, okay, yeah. Wait, yep. you said Luke was Starkiller? Like the dude yeah, from... Luke, Luke Starkiller is his name originally. <laughs> Wait, so the, oh, the that- isn't that what they called the guy in the Force Unleashed? Force Unleashed, yeah. I thought it wasn't. Yeah, it? they probably used that name. Oh. Wasn't it Dale Starkiller? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. Rick, maybe Rick. He's like Rick Starkiller. Looks like a general in the army already. Like it's totally different. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. There's like six yeah. issues, six or seven issues out right now. I am gonna check those out. Yep. Who's Might it? as well because J.J. Abrams is gonna fuck it all up, guys. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't, I don't, <laughs> that it? That's all. The, yeah, that's, all that's all I got. That's that, what I've read about the new Star Wars movies. I will, like, oh, they're done. Star Wars is done. Move on. I Move think on. the. Uh, <laughs> I think the right. Star Wars video games are going to be in better hands than I expected. Yep. Whatever happened to thirteen? Oh 13? yeah. Cancel. They canceled it. It died. Did it really? It died. Yeah, that looked kind of tight. Disney, when Disney bought them, the, they canceled. The, it. 
Yeah. Mm. But uh, Disney thought this is too tight. We need to make way for Frozen. <laughs> this is yeah, this game is no. too much. Yeah. But Amy yeah, Amy Amy, Hennig, Amy Hennig is now at Visceral, and Visceral mm-hmm. is making Star Wars games, and um, she's responsible for my love for Soul Reaver, and then she's also the creative director on Uncharted. So mm-hmm. um, they got some chops over there at least. I don't know what that'll end up meaning, but uh, well, every every Star Wars character is gonna be really snarky, <laughs> but like. But lovable, <laughs> lovably snarky. <laughs> Every character will be played by Nolan North. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, have you played? Are, have you been playing that Nosgoth game? No, because it's thirty Speaking bucks. I, I want to try it, but it's oh. thirty bucks for their oh, early free. access. And it's gonna oh, be, okay. And it's gonna be free to play when it comes out, but it's got that. Kind it, of, yeah, I didn't know. It looks good. But, I mean, I, I saw uh, on Polygon, uh, Griffin McRoy was playing, and I was surprised. I mean, they basically eliminated all the good things about you know uh, that series, but the gameplay looked cool. Like it, like it, the, the asymmetrical multiplayer is looked pretty tight. I was surprised. I mean, it's it's like a better Left 4 Dead. I mean, I mean, it looks pretty cool. You got to give them that. Um, it doesn't have. Uh, Legacy of Kane in the title. It does like it's mm-hmm. just straight up Nosgoth, so it's gonna it kind of exists on its own. I don't really, you know, they're just using the setting. That's 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 fine. I'm not too too worried oh, yeah. about tiebacks to that, that but franchise. Still, but... uh, I want a Legacy of Kane. I missed. That. Oh well, yeah, that was a game. Oh, yeah. man. I don't even know that who's gonna make, make that at this point. I don't know if Crystal... probably some guy. Yeah, I mean, if Crystal Dy- Dynamics yeah. is like, kind of wrapped up with Tomb Raider, so or wrapped into Tomb Raider, yeah. so I don't know who. Who brings back? I think they need to reboot Kane. I think they need to just go hard with that. Like I don't. Could you imagine with the same style of Tomb Raider, like that? I mean, <laughs> Legacy Kane with that, like oh, his origin, oh, the man. origin story that made why he, why he was so tough. He was kind of like <laughs> a wussy little girl at the beginning of it. If you thought women were abused in that game, wait till you see Legacy of Kane's take on that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're going to use that in the promo. No, probably shouldn't. <laughs> But I, I mean, I think that first that that first Legacy of game deserves a, a bit of a retelling because it was, you know, it's a bit of a chore to play. It was in its day, like the load times are uh, atrocious, but um, mm-hmm. but the gameplay and the story is really fucking cool. And I I yeah. I feel like if you just kind of smoothed all that all, all that out, I think that'd be worth worth revisiting. Yeah. That was one of the games I hid from my mom. Like Mortal Kombat oh, yeah. and then Legacy of Kane. I was like, my mom sees it, she's going to flip out. <laughs> I mean, it was like, well, it's got that top down perspective, but I just remember thinking at, uh, of how gory it was and how, like, it, yeah, I, I, I'm going to get in oh, trouble yeah. for playing this R rated video game. And, oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I can't even tell what, ha- looking back on it, you can't even tell what half the shit is on the screen because it's so, <laughs> so PlayStation 1. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't think we could survive on, those load times. Is that on PSN? I, don't th- I haven't seen it. I don't think so. I have not. Oh. I have not seen any resurgence of that original game. Just probably because Silicon Knights is probably fucking it up. Dennis Dyack. That's it's probably his fault. Oh, Dennis Dyack. But um, I I did like that last Legacy of Kane, Defiance, which was a long ass time ago now. I was talking about that the other day. Of uh, uh, what was, was that? Was on it 2003? Xbox? 2003? It was on Xbox and PlayStation 2. Yeah, and it was uh-huh. the it was okay. the one where they overlapped that you got to play as Kane and Raziel. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's that? Oh, it is. Is that it? Blood Omen. Yeah. It's on yeah. what? Wow. What? Vita on. playable on Vita. Hmm. Terrible I should go get a Vita. Vita. Well, playable. PS3. PS3. <laughs> you should get a Vita, yeah, yeah. dude. It's like. A and if I ever turn my Vita on again, I've got a lot of games to play. Mm. That's kind of where I'm at. Mm. Where's your Vita right now? Yeah. Right in the desk next to me, just looking all, hey, look at my sexy screen. That's all it really, yeah. I just pull that out every once in a while to admire it. Yeah. But, uh, it's just, I just, it's still, it's still the, it's the handheld gaming problem of, I don't sit down to play a handheld game. Most of yeah. them, are, so. You do, it's just not available. Just put the charger on the back of the toilet. <laughs> just, do it. just cut out just the middle man. bathe in the yeah. shame and make it happen i'm well i'm too i'm too busy destroying dudes with cards from the toilet now that i hacked into canada's servers and started playing hearthstone on my ipad and that was apparently what i was missing because i probably put in 
I've probably played 50 rounds of Hearthstone this week. And um, Is it fun? I love it. You look like I, I popped I'm, in I'm and you were excited. playing the other day. You were smiling. You were happy. I was like, okay, great. Like, I like card games. Don't get me wrong. But so, I was like, okay, cool. I mean, Looks yeah, good. I mean, I, I, I got really excited about this week because I had my first uh, couple of uh, battles in it where I was just completely destroyed. I was almost like... I, I, I was getting my ass kicked, but then I turned it around and like made a come, a couple come from high victories, and just kind of realizing that that was possible made me a lot more excited to play it. And then um, yeah. the other big thing I figured out was, um, so you've got you've got all these heroes to play as, and I've been focusing on the hunter and getting trying to get all the cards for the hunter, but you need to level up the other characters to get uh, through the daily quests. And um, I thought the only way you could level up your characters um to get all the cards was to play in their practice mode and play against the computer but um mm-hmm. once, once i realized hey they have they have a casual mode to play online against people and a ranked mode and just jumping into a casual game with a character that you don't know is is still fun so i've been kind of blown through it that way and and playing a bunch of different characters and i don't know there's there seems to be a lot for me to do right now i don't know if I'll ever get into the high level game of it, because I have no interest in building a deck because it's confusing and scary. Mm-hmm. And um, but um, they do kind of counter that, like the when you're not playing a ranked mode or casual mode, they've got the arena, which is really fun um, because that just what that does is it has you pick a character, and then it just gives you random cards and say, hey, here are three cards, pick one, and you do that till you build a deck of thirty cards, and you just then you just go on and play against somebody that did the same thing. So it kind of levels yeah. the playing field. You're not out there playing against dudes that may may or may or not have spent money to get like better cards than you in, in their deck. Mm-hmm. So it's it just knowing that the, the playing field's level and um it it, it it it's it becomes a lot more fun to play. So um hmm. cool. I think I'll I think I'll probably end up just playing it from my couch for, you know, a couple matches a night or uh, or every other night um, long term but for now I'm really heavy into it yeah cool it's free it's so, free and I don't like card games and I, I really like this game so yeah I got a couple that I support do. that cool I support got, what you're doing and it's just it's been been weird since our um, Diablo resurgence which we'll talk about later um, yeah just logging into Battle.net and seeing friends on Battle.net's uh, new experience. <laughs> I do like that Battle.net um, application, though. I, I don't know why. Like, I, I think it's just another one that, I mean, yeah. you know, you got Steam, you got all this stuff, but I kind of like it. I, I think it, it's cool. It kind of brings those, you know, the experience of all those games together, and, and, and it makes you also realize just how um, robust uh, Blizzard's current games are. You know, like they, mm-hmm. like, they are still, regardless of what anyone says, they're still at the top of the... the I mean... The, uh, I'm, whatever that is, whatever saying that goes with that. The thing. <laughs> I mean, was top of the thing, top of the top of the ladder. I mean, they're doing some. They do good stuff. I love Blizzard. Top I of really the morning. Blizzard. Top of the morning. They are top of the morning. I was on um, the food chain. I I expected to see some uh, some concessions made in the graphics or or the presentation of the iPad version of uh, Hearthstone, but it is. It looks really, it looks really nice. It uh, is it the same account? Like, do you play yeah. like the what you play on the PC? The same thing? Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's any you can you just log in with your Battle.net account and go. Like, it pulls all yeah. the information off there. I mean, it's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. I I don't know why, but like when you're playing a competitive match on your iPad, and I'm so used to like, you know, an iPad. If there's any interruption around me, I'm gonna close it and go take care of whatever just happened. But like, mm-hmm. but actually playing a a real-time competitive match on an iPad is a little bit. It, it's I've never used that device for that, so that was a little, um, yeah, a little nerve-wracking. It's just like, no, I'm play. I this this is a serious iPad game. It's like the first. Mm. That's I don't know. That's the only way I can describe it. It was uh, huh. it's kind of weird. Oh, ridiculous fishing was not. I got you. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, ridiculous fishing. I could even if I like closed it. I'm not. You can't. If you do have a good run in ridiculous fishing, you're losing. You know. 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds. If, uh, yeah, I, I yeah, it's, I had to stop playing that game. But the iPad's too big for it. It's just too big. Yeah. Too big. I mean, most, most Hearthstone matches are only like, uh, five or seven minutes long, but like, sometimes you'll get into a multi rounder that's about 12 or 15 minutes, and that's, that's kind of the, uh, if I got interrupted in the middle of that and cl- had to close my iPad and lost the match, that would be, 
I'd be I'd be upset. So well, if you got interrupted between five and seven minutes, I think you need some pharmaceuticals to keep your attention span. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's a really quick poop. So yeah, yeah, that's a really quick poop. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't wipe or wash your hands for sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was I, each each in each game, like your character has like six emotes that you can communicate to the other player, and I'm unfortunately there's no I'm playing from the toilet emote. Uh, it's just like, there's only six though yeah well, How do they, they view gamers as robotic people like happy to think, sad I can, hungry let's see if I can even remember even EDF has that emote EDF has so many e- emotes <laughs> and they're all fantastic and they're worth five dollars you can learn a thing or two I'll get back to yeah. <laughs> um, yeah what do they have they have six new value scale <laughs> Yeah, I was going to see if I could remember all six, but it doesn't matter. So, and does anybody else have any interest in Hearthstone, or am I the only crazy person so far? I'm going to play. I want to. I want to play. I love. It's like tabletop games uh, that aren't actual uh, tabletop games, but made as computer games. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. I mean, I'm just you, that, you it's know, always interesting. you know, they're going to make an actual tabletop version of it, right? Like that's that's got to happen. Um, oh well, it'd be stupid not it, to. Well, they they already have like World of Warcraft card games right. and stuff, like collect collectible card games. And, and then and so, then Lego's gonna make their version of it, and then they're gonna make a Lego movie about it. And oh, that'd be awesome! That actually would be awesome. Lego uh, Lego World of Warcraft. Be, <laughs> the movie, the game. You love the movie, the game. You know, I I I really like my time with uh, Chainsaw uh, Warrior that came out uh, just uh, actually about six or seven months ago. I yeah. thought that was really fun. Hearthstone, I'm just not connected to. Not that I'm connected to the mythology of Chainsaw Warrior because there's really not a whole lot to it. But like, <laughs> I'm just not connected to World of Warcraft in the same way that I would be. But you, like, I like the Resident Evil card game. Like, I get excited about that. And I think if there was more. Uh, I think there's enough, more memorable characters to it. You played enough early Warcraft; it's gonna it's gonna have some some moments for you. And just just the fact that it says "jobs done" at the end of every well, that, round, well, that, like that's that. Enough. But I feel like it's so much obvious. has happened. Like I feel like yeah, I feel like yeah. so much has happened in that game. Like since like the whole world is like when I played, it was I don't know, I feel like there was a lot of mushroom people, <laughs> and uh, there was I think there was a that's dragon a or two. Game. That was exactly. Yeah. Was I not even playing World of Warcraft? <laughs> that was. It could have been a Square game. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> like I played through the tutorial of Hearthstone uh, a couple weeks ago, and I think it'll. I mean, if it, it's that retro kind of feeling from like Warcraft two mm. and three. It's got like, that personality. It'll, like, it'll, it'll do that for yeah. you. Cool. You didn't. I thought the uh, tutorial was great, so it didn't. Yeah, I did it, too. It was really, it was really uh, well scaled, from the the first match to the last match. Well, when it when it actually things. hits the U.S. iPad store, you guys have to let me know if you're if you're playing. So, hmm. or I, think, I thought I thought it'd have been really cool if this if they had gone the Heroes of the Storm route with Hearthstone. Like, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like it, like spread that out a bit. Yeah, hmm. like if you could have had like you know I don't know, I didn't know anything about the gameplay, but I'm instantly thinking like well, this is perfect opportunity to mix your. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, mix all your different franchises and, and all that stuff, and then all of a sudden, you know, a game co- like oh crap, or I mean, I guess it could have been out already, but I just heard about it. Like now, a MOBA that does that, like oh, it's yeah, not it, what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> That's it, it seemed weird. It seems like they could almost flip those. Like this seems to be the more casual game, and it would be fun. Right, you wouldn't have to come. It wouldn't seem so dumb to have all the heroes in place, but right. I don't know. Like maybe. Maybe if you made Heroes of the Storm just Warcraft based, that might just be way too similar to the other other products. Like as far as uh, yeah. it's just still, you know, fantasy characters battling versus pulling in some Starcraft guys and Starcraft vehicles. Yeah, but at least it wouldn't ruin my immersion. Got <laughs> <laughs> a spaceship there. I can't do that. <laughs> Did anybody else get excited about Blizzard's April Fool's joke? <laughs> like, which, which one? Like, they had, oh yeah, dude, they had oh, like, I guess they had they had like four. Of them. <laughs> the fighting game that featured yes, uh, yeah. uh, Kane and uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, all the other shitty characters or whatever. I don't think he was. I kind of felt bad though. I was like, he's not a bad character. I felt like the other ones were kind of. But it's really funny to shit. have him in a fighting game. <laughs> I think oh, that was yeah, more. He was, like, he was beefed. But yeah, he wasn't. Like, he was beefed. Everybody else was kind of a <laughs> a throwaway character, somebody you make fun of, and Kane, but like Kane. Still demands our respect. Like we we yeah. we like Kane, so that was a little weird. But still, old man yeah. in a fighting game. 
uh, versus <laughs> versus Hadrick's wife. That was the other like that's about the most random character you can pull from Diablo three. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a Wait, treasure that, goblin in there. Yeah, yeah treasure goblin was in there. Yeah, not the yeah, one that was that following was the... me around at the end of that stream. That guy's fucking. I'm so glad I finally got rid of that ring. Oh yeah, that was annoying. No offense, I hated what? that. What? I uh, got this ring what what was this? towards the end of our uh, Diablo three stream that spawned a treasure goblin that would follow my character around, and he would pick up. Oh, the the common items, and after he picked up a certain one, he would drop a, a rare item for me. That was like, oh, that's awesome! So, it, it, like, that was cool. And then the stats were really good. But on the other hand, I'm playing a multiplayer game, and there's a treasure goblin on screen at all times that keeps kind of freaking everybody out. Because yeah, I kept attacking him. Because <laughs> like at a certain level, like I've noticed, I never noticed this in the past. I don't know if this was loot two point or with the different uh, difficulty levels or what. But like goblins are kind of your litmus test for whether or not you are oh, you, you're in over your head, and so like t- you have to plan on killing these things. And and I was like, okay, guys, there's a goblin. We we yeah, get we, it. we all attack at the same time. Yeah. Spam, spam, spam. And then fucking Justin's goblin just like dicking around the whole time, picking the giggling. Ah! <laughs> you know, like I was like, God damn it, that thing. Laughing so at me every it. time I died, which I'm, oh yeah. So I'm working on a death montage. Um, oh yeah. We did um so yeah we did we did our live stream we did a giveaway we played through the entire campaign in Reaper of Souls and uh, I'm doing a death montage of first we started playing the game I think you were you and Aaron were both like level sixty something and yeah. I had my level thirty five because I deleted my characters and started over because that was smart to do before we did that but the <laughs> idea was I we figured we'd level up really quickly but I was being like one hit killed for about the first yeah. 30 minutes of the stream so cutting a montage of that w- combined with the 20 plus times I died on the final boss oh man that final boss was uh Oof. it was tricky man there was there I was could, there was a uh, I could not dodge him I couldn't figure out yeah. what to do <laughs> Yeah, but, but the uh, control. I mean, I mean the the, the demon hunt because you were playing demon hunt. Yeah, yeah. There's some. It's dodge is really good, but like the uh, the last boss has some pretty uh, yeah. area encompassing <laughs> spells. So it's really there's really you somersault. I and felt you, you know, guys were such tro- troopers. You kept reviving me. It was just like you guys are obviously going to beat this guy without my help. <laughs> Don't <laughs> oh, worry we were about it. For the but team, man. <laughs> they kept so, see. That's how I play this game, and I, and I think that. One of the down, and this is you know probably a transition into our Diablo three talk. But one of the downfalls with, uh, I, I've had a, real, a lot of fun with Loot two point and, and Reaper Souls. But one of the downfalls is people don't play as a team; mm. they just farm the whole time. And so when we play, like I was like, "This is Diablo three. This is what we wanted. Um, this is what we wanted." And it's really tough to get a multiplayer game like that. So when I do, I milk it. Like, I'm helping. <laughs> we dudes. milk. I'm, you know, given you know, uh, legendary items that I don't need. I'm saying, hey, buddy, good job, and that kind of stuff. And I'm sure it's annoying. It probably holds <laughs> everyone back from getting their leg mats, man. Got to get our leg mats, you know? It was the most... I didn't know what, <laughs> oh, I didn't know what that meant. Why, why are you cutting down the amount of words, like letters, in legendary? Yeah. Like, just it's legendary. It's fine. And material. It's it's okay. Leg mats and all these acronyms. <laughs> oh, <I'm> like, <laughs> I, oh yeah! I thought I was missing more crafting <laughs> items for for <sighs> that spe- for the leg pieces. Like I thought that's your. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did too. I was like, what? shin guards. I gotta get some cool <laughs> shin guards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like back when I was playing, it was like back in my day, everyone was looking for sockets and their weapons, and now they're looking for leg so, pieces. I'm like, that seems unimportant to me. You, but your legs, I mean, they do. They are part of your ambulation, so I'm sure you want to protect those as much as possible. So I never realized how unrelatable our live stream was, because yeah, that like at all the other. Now that I'm done with the campaign, I can jump in and out of games freely. I I, I kind of feel um, a weight has been lifted. Like I mm-hmm. I'm not focused on just absorbing and enjoying the content. And mm-hmm. uh, so I I get how other people are playing the game now. I've I've been shielding myself from that. But yeah, just like it, it was totally different that three of us are on voice chat and just kind of hanging out while playing playing this great game and you know l- laughing when you spawn 19 wizards that all <laughs> sp- spawn <laughs> meteor showers and just the screen explodes and uh, oh yeah versus versus playing with your your older brother who no <laughs> who words need like to be exchanged else. i i jumped into a game with him the next day and he just like took off and it was he just <laughs> He never like we, we never like went back to town at the same time. It was just like he was 
he was playing the game next to me. Like it was so, yeah. it was so weird. But, but, but I, but I got it. I, mean, I was getting gear. So, um, oh yeah, it's not just about farming runs. Diablo three can be fun with friends. Yeah, I think so too. I, I, it does make me kind of. Um... Uh, I, I think Loot 2.0 Loot 2.0 was good, and I love what they've added to uh, Reaper Souls. But I do it is kind of like I, I understand what the end game is. The end game is getting better stuff, and that's great. But like I feel like I want it, maybe they could introduce a, another challenge that isn't just about getting stuff. Yeah. Because I'm like I just I don't want dudes to just run ahead of me. I'm like, hey guys, wait for me. You know, I've got my little voodoo priest, and I'm like, hey guys, look at all these pets I've spawned, and it's like <laughs> they're like they don't care. They've got an axe, and this other guy's got, oh. like, a tornado. They're like, I don't care about you. I don't need your pets. They could do something like, uh, I think Aaron and I were talking about this. Just I, You need something also that is skill-based and not loot-based. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, some yeah. sort of, like, some some take on the whole wave-based challenge, like a horde mode for, for Diablo. It sounds kind of dumb on, on, the, on the surface, but, like, if you just try to, like, survive, I think that could be. Yeah, I could dig that. I would dig that. I mean, they've done a lot to. I don't think the game was broken, but to oh, no. fix the game, quote unquote, to but get I into it. But that. I just. I would like the different flavor for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. I mean, again, for people that play it like one off, like I'll play it for you know a couple hours here and there, but I'm not playing it for. I mean, eight hours a day, like some of these guys are doing, and they're talking. Like I got into the Reddit Diablo. Uh, <laughs> Why? Um, form because you i because yourself. i was curious you hate yourself. i know i do it, it's like a masochistic kind of thing but i got in there and i was like okay what are people like what are i wanted to know what people were thinking about reaper souls and everyone liked it and that was cool and i started to get into like you know their strategies what they're going into these dudes play a different game than i do they are not playing the same <laughs> diablo 3 that i am like i'm playing it for fun and when i get bored i'm gone they play it like a freaking job and i guess maybe there's some respect to that but i don't know but like i'm like Dude, there's no way. And so I get in, and they were talking about somebody was talking about like, don't even get into torment until you could be knocking like 500k DPS. I was like, oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even close to that, you know. So it's 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 just interesting. It, it just goes back to like, not that the way people play games are wrong, but it's so different. Like how one game can pl- be played completely differently by X number of people. You know, it's just it's it's crazy. So I play by myself cool. usually. <laughs> Cole. Cole. At one point in your life, you started a series because you were getting into PC gaming and Diablo 3. What has happened since then? Are you interested in Reaper of Souls? Well, first, I'm a little upset that you haven't given me a platform to um, <laughs> reintroduce myself. You you know, you talk to Ethan about what's going on with him and Josh what's going on with him. Hey, but you, you and Josh were covered by the wrestling conversations. No, no. I need to tell you about the 100,000 Russians that are invading my Marvel Comics Unlimited app. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Touche. They're, they're dressing up like comic books, and they're just, you know, <laughs> I need to fight back. I would, I would Freedom back. Fighters meets Comic Zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, pitch. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> anyway. Call your uh, landlock. They want nothing to do with you. Yeah. You well, hey, I'm, lost, I'm in the place of sin. They, yeah. they, they, they're showing up in their track, shoot, track suits, hairy chests, and gold chains. <laughs> They're here a different time. sort of invasion. Yeah. Um, same Russians, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. There was a, there, you already got a video game based around this. It was it was a Rainbow Six game. Oh, that's right. That's mm. Two. You got two. Well, in every Call of Duty game as well. Yeah. Did they ever go to Vegas? But I, but I never got one. this. Yeah, Ghost. They were in I Vegas. I never got this in Vegas, though. No one got that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that Diablo, is really sad. What, what number is it? Diablo three. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and okay. I, I, I think I actually downloaded it for PC when I finally got the PC because I was originally playing it on the Mac and that was a terrible experience. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed what we played that one time. Uh, I think we actually sh- played with um, Aaron. Sounds about right. And maybe Josh. I don't know. Um, and I had a good time with it. It was just, uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't something that like hooked you. It, it, yeah, hooked me. Um, you know, it's something that I might go back to, but it's not. I, I never got into one or two, so I didn't have that kind yeah. of nostalgic feelings about three. So it was just another game to me. Yeah. But no interest in Reaper of Souls. Like, that hasn't changed your motivations. No, okay. No, no. I was curious, and it's not going to. That's what a lot of people try to convince that it. it's going to change. It, Either like those kind of games you don't. Well, we're we're you know. funny in that like the little nuance changes that it made did make 
us in particular really excited. Like mm-hmm. th- there is there is some whatever was missing for me, I found in Loop Loop Two Point Like I like just yeah. seeing those those leg drops. Wait the le- wait the leg mats. Whatever leg mats leg mat drops. <laughs> wait a minute, leg <laughs> drops. Stinky leg, leg drops. drops. Yes, Tell me about these leg drops. <laughs> yeah. It's a new move that they added to the Barbarian. It's pretty awesome. When you go to level 61, yeah, you oh, can leg drop. I am interested. <laughs> it's OP. It's OP, man. It's OP. Too OP. They're going to nerf it. OP. Patch them. Two, yeah. three. Your lingo <laughs> is killing me. But I, 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 It's killing me. I, it's, <laughs> it's infecting my brain. Josh played the most Diablo 3. Well, that's that's actually probably pretty close to Ethan. But you played a lot of Diablo 3, but I haven't heard you... Uh, too excited about Reaper of Souls. So where are you at? I are you just in Marvel if it Heroes? Wasn't, <laughs> I not am, Marvel I am. Heroes in the game. <laughs> uh, I guess I I had a really hard time getting excited for one new character class and one new act. Like that was like ah. Eh. I mean Diablo three was was good, but I didn't fall in love with it like I did Diablo two, mm-hmm. and so. Like just the expansion, like eh, I, I'm actually interested in playing the Crusader because I like you know sword and shield dudes, but um, no, it doesn't seem like use that much smite. to go back to. But I, I am excited for like the better loot system and the legendary quests, or no, what do you call it? adventure yeah. mode? Sorry, that mm-hmm. was the Marvel Heroes thing. Um, so because I, I play, that's how I play Marvel Heroes a lot of times is those legendary quests, uh, which is like sounds exactly the same, like exactly the same thing, but. So I'm interested, but like not eighty dollars interested, I guess, because exactly that's what it'll cost for you know to upgrade or to computers to to play the expansion. Oh, so. okay, you and um, fiance, gotcha. You should have entered yeah. entered to win a copy of Reaper of Souls. Uh, can I enter the Gar contest? <laughs> no, <laughs> this whole time I didn't even know I could do that. It's Wait, a free country, I- Josh. Oh my gosh! How do I get in? The, what can I win out? What's going on right now? Giveaways. Um, I don't know. I, I'll I'll get it eventually, but yeah, eighty bucks. I got you. Yeah. I got Meh. you. I got you. I Meh. mean, you've got Marvel heroes. Like I, I guess, like for me, I play a lot of point and click action adventure games, and so it's kind of a weird thing. But like, I think if you've got, I think everyone has that little uh, mindless pointy game, and, that, and that's what yeah. it comes down to. It's a pointy <laughs> game. Uh, yeah. and, and, and to have too many of them like I do, like it does, it, it kind of it reflects upon one's intellect. And I know, I know, I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you can only loot so much before you be, look like a materialistic prick. So, How you know. excited were you, Ethan, that um, you got a little bit of a breather here before Van Helsing 2 comes out? They did. Oh delay, God! They delayed that a couple weeks. <laughs> what they're doing? I was. That? Yeah, that's yeah. like and it's out soon. It's out like in the next month. It's, the turnaround on that game is pretty amazing. You know, Van Helsing wasn't too bad. It looks like they fixed what problems the original had. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's just too many of those games now, which is, I guess, it's fine. But I'm like, man, that's a quick turnaround on a game that I don't even know. How, like, I want to look at the numbers on that game. I'm really curious. Like, did people love that? I mean, it had some pretty steep competition. It can't well, be a full blown sequel, right? There's no one can make a game that fast. It's, no, here's here's my suspicion of it. And, and this is not two. knocking that. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not knocking that studio. The, the, the game was, originally it was supposed to be like a three-act game, you know, oh. but it looks to me like they've refined things, added a few levels and whatnot, and then like some classes. And, and It's not a huge jump, but I mean, it's significant, and it's a cheap game. The original was like fifteen nine or fourteen ninety nine. so I mean, fuck, you know, that's a, that's a good price. Yeah, I'm way more comfortable with, with uh, those kinds of games doing that than you know, a Madden or something like that. Like that, yeah. that's a, that's a little different. Cause you didn't, you, just, you know, you didn't pay that much to begin with. And you just compared yeah. acts and the incredible adventures of Van Helsing to seasons of Madden. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you st- you'll stand yeah. by your opinion. Does anyone have a problem with that? No, I don't think. No, no. No. Let's just let's make sure I heard you right. Okay. Cole Monroe yep. has been playing video games, but I haven't talked to you about any video. I have no idea what you're playing right now. Are you playing an RPG? No, I'm playing Infamous Second Son. Oh, shit! <gasps> oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah. On, those, on those PlayStations. On those PlayStations. The fourth, the fourth Power of yeah. Four. What do you think? Of, wait, did, have you played any of the other in, Infamouses? I uh, played a little bit Infamous of the first I? one. Okay. Uh, didn't finish it. Uh, yeah. Didn't play two at all. 
Loving four or three, nice. sorry, <laughs> on a PlayStation. <laughs> three, on the PlayStation three, four. the second I, son. Three, the second. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Um, I've, I'm not one to. Sometimes I fall into the the ideal of being a collector of everything. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then usually I hit a brick wall because I'm like, this is boring. I'm gonna stop. I don't want to do this. I don't want to hundred percent this game. And then I just end up not playing it at all. I did that with Assassin's Creed um, before. Assassin's so. Creed, yeah, it's mm. there's just too much. There's just too much. And for me, Infamous has the right amount of like side missions and collectibles that makes it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they're a little. Once they're kind of going, mindless. It's, it's a, yeah, they're mindless and they're kind of boring. Um, but they're easy. After, <laughs> but they're yeah, but they're super easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And <clears throat> wow, that's a. Oh. That sounds great. Um, they're kind of mindless and easy, and they, they're. Uh, I don't know. It just it feels satisfying for me to finish them. So <clears throat> I've been doing that. I just got the third power. Oh. Uh, actually, I'm not just got the I third, just, third power. power. I just got the second one. The third power is it? Is, does it evolve those you. like swords from Tron? That's what it looked like. Are you talking uh, about like a yes. set, like smoke, neon, something else? Yeah, yeah, second, third power. I don't want to. What? Wanna okay, let's yeah. wait. What? Oh, there's God. more powers? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was all smoke. I thought, you know, no. This guy was all about. Smoke. No, so I, I, there's probably. I mean, you can probably bet that there's concrete power at the end as well. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> concrete power. So there's four powers. Carol's, but yeah, she's such what? a bitch. Wait, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you the third power. It's pretty cool. Uh, wait, so, what does concrete power mean? It means like. like at the oh, the intro to this game, you meet yeah. like she's such a great villain. She you hate her she instantly, but it's basically this yeah, yeah. um this conduit that's working for the government to round up all the other conduits, which are basically the mean old lady. Yes, and yeah. her and she, she has concrete power, and concrete she'll just power, like, she, yeah she'll just like inject a shard of concrete through your leg. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's not that's actually awesome. And she did it to what an old lady. Bastard. She did it to oh, an old lady. lady. Yeah. yeah. Oh. An old sweet lady who's just trying to help. Well, okay, I miss that. I miss that. And, you can, and like, you bring up like concrete shields that spin around your body. I'm sure that's going to be one of your powers. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I haven't got there yet. But um, yeah, so I've been like trying to 100% like each uh, area of Seattle. That's going well. Um, I really, I just really enjoy it. Um, it's it ugly though, amazing. right? Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, the graphics are terrible. <laughs> Especially for a PlayStation 4. I'm really disappointed. PC Master Race, right, Ethan? Yeah, no, I know. I, it looks good enough. <laughs> I'm uh, sure I'm sure they're going to upscale all those textures when it comes to PC, but I mean, that's, you know, that's beside yeah. the point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man, can you imagine what that game would look like on the PC? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that'd be tight. Oh. But I, I mean, I, I think it's the, the first, like, game on the PlayStation 4 that actually kind of showcases what it can do um, and makes you feel it makes it feel like it's the next generation of console games Mm -hmm. Um, and I think I think it's worth I wouldn't say you need to buy the system for it but I think if you have it you need to buy the game yeah yeah Yeah. here's here's my question about it because I played infamous one and I got bored of it and I and it was just it had that is it it, this game looks less I don't want to say cartoony, but less comic booky. It looks a little bit more it's, grounded, perhaps, than the first one. Because the first one, it felt like you were fighting, like your enemies were kind of, I don't know, they just it, it didn't mesh, I guess, in my mind when I was playing. And this one looks like, oh, it's, it looks, uh, is there a connection between those two games? It just it looks like completely the, different. It feels like the same yeah, universe to me, for sure. Yeah, it is, I mean, it definitely, there's a connection. Like, you're not the same character or anything, but you're in a different area, part of the country with, you know, superpowers as well. Okay. And they, and they, they and your enemies have cool, superpowers but, too. Yeah. Okay. But I don't feel like it's, I don't know. It isn't. I don't feel like it's super disconnected between, like you were saying, Ethan, like, I don't, or super comic booky. I don't know. I guess uh, during, the, just, during the first one, I thought it was kind of cool that it's like no, th- no, this feels like this feels like a comic book, and like Sucker Punch <laughs> has made their own like step into comics. This is awesome. Versus Second Son, like they'll do cutscenes w- around certain characters where they do it the il- they tell the story like in this illustration style, and the thought that goes through my head is, oh yeah, they did they used to make this like a comic book thing, so it's not as heavy, but it's still kind of okay. Weird. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Cool. And I think, and I think, uh, like the voice acting is really well done. Um, 
Except for the, the brother. Except for the brother. The brother. The brother in that relationship is kind of dumb. Yeah. But like the like you said, the lady. It's gotta be really good. Uh, it's gotta be the the way they handle the karma in this game and the way it subtly affects the dialogue. It's gotta be so hard to write the the main character because yeah. you can't not make him generic because you're the the way you're playing the game can influence his attitude. Basically, it's just like mm. you know he's he, he's either just like really into his powers and feels that you know conduits are are victims or he's going to try to save people and like but the story still has to work for whichever scenario you're playing through so that's um, right. I th- and you'll be happy you'll be happy to know fickle yeah right. <laughs> you'll be happy to know i'm playing a good guy and justin is obviously playing a bad guy i've got a good guy oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 person. i've got a good guy going offline I've only been streaming the bad guy because that makes for better television. Oh, I don't know if it does. That's a problem with America. Being a hero does. makes better television. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that makes for boring television. The, nah, the bad can, guy can just can, blow everything up. Yeah, it's but you funny. can fuck up some drug dealers. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you drink yeah, drugs, you just say no. And, yeah. and if you but, see a guy squirrel on a sign you don't like, you can kill him too. <laughs> or the, the, <laughs> random, the random musicians that you can kill. Yeah, I don't kill the random, uh, but I do. I have killed protesters but, before. But you can't, what? you can't explode like a military base and damage civilians that are then rolling in the street. And then as you're walking away from all the explosions that you've made, if you're a good guy, you can't kick that civilian on the street too. That's the best part. Well, wait, are these street musicians? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rocking just, out electric guitars, which is really weird because you don't see them anywhere. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, they're the, so, so on the map. There's all these little like uh, bad karma or good karma like no, notifiers. Thing. Like if you're good, hey, hey, here's a drug bust. Like here's some drug dealers. Like uh, like steal their drugs and incapacitate them. And you get good karma points versus bad here's guys a guy getting beat up. Yeah, bad guys are sign That's twirlers weird. and musicians that you want. to... <laughs> <laughs> and protest, and protesters. It's like Pizza Hut sign twirlers, like yep. those guys that are yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I think it would have been really funny if they put one of those mechanical women sign sign uh, sign twirler things in there. And <laughs> I don't think those have come to the Midwest. Everybody, yet. everybody gets karma um, when you kill that, not just the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have boss fights in this game? Yes, but are it's, they fun? Um. <laughs> there's only been like one. There's only been like one really like huge boss fight that I can think of. Um, that you know that was like specific. Like okay, I'm in a boss fight. Everything else has kind of been within the the context of the game. Um, but yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, you, it, it kind of took a little bit to figure out like how you're gonna kill him or um, what it took. You know, it was the the kind of the combat puzzle thing of. Hey, is my smoke working? Or hey, is my neon working? Or whatever. hey, is my that, third power working? Well, no, it's only after the first two powers that oh. I fought them. So um, when you get to the new island or the new part of town, um, so yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was think it was bad, but it, it didn't seem like there's a whole lot of boss fights. Did did boss fights were they ever fun? Like I was I was kind of thinking about this. Like there's been Devil some May Cry boss fights. Yes. Okay. Those were fun. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm like, just trying to think about that. I feel like that's binary a domain. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Dogma. Hey, Josh. It, it's, it's, it's funny. The games that are like the, the B plus games are the ones with the best boss fights. Is Vanquish on uh, PC? Uh, Random question. Do you know? Mm, he, oh. I haven't seen it. I don't think so. Huh. I've been going through my. That's a good question. I've been going through my old Should games, be. figuring out which ones I'm going to sell and which ones I've already bought on the PC, and that was one I couldn't confirm or deny. I, man, I kind of forgot about that game. I can't get rid of Vanquish. So. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, if it, I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. Damn. Man, that game was fun. That game was awesome. Who made that? Why? What are they doing now? Where can we get another? Is, is that Sega? Did Sega? No, Sega made Binary Domain. It's the guys that made Binary Domain. Platinum. Oh, yeah, it's oh, Platinum. is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Platinum. Shit. So we got that sorted out. Well, that explains that. Yeah. <laughs> Super good. Oh, Ethan, what have you been playing? Good stuff. Uh, well, uh, besides uh, Diablo 3, uh, FTL came out with a stupidly awesome... Okay. <laughs> 
edition this past week. Oh, um, the the Advanced edition came out, uh, and I think it's it's coincided with the release of FTL on the iPad, which I guess is just killing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that is what I mean. That yeah. game was meant to be played on iPad. I mean, definitely. Like, I, I love it on PC, but I think it's going to be awesome on iPad as well. Haven't purchased that yet because I don't know if my my, my dying iPad will even play it, but um, I've been playing the absolute shit out of that. And actually, Justin, and I, I streamed a little bit on Friday. I was trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do that anymore. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. So I decided just it's to play the game and have fun with it. It, it just, it's just weird. I don't know. It, it's, it's my momentum wasn't there, but whatever, you know. But uh, oh my god, dude, why? Like, it's, it's so funny to look at these two guys, and I, and I saw an interview between them, uh, and you know, basically. Um, it was on, I think it was on Polygon, they were interviewing, and they were like, you know, this is content that most companies would release, you know, for money and people would pay for. This is content that you could have released for money and people would be happy to pay you for it, but you're giving it for free, like, why are you doing it? And, and the creators were like, well, I mean, we were going to put this stuff in the game anyway, we just didn't have enough time, so we thought it was nice to give to you. And I'm like, what? Like, it blew my mind. Like, these guys, I mean, it was already, like, one of the most perfect games, like, just in my mind is one of the most perfect games in sure. in my it's, current gaming library, but of all time, I'm thinking like in this edition just cemented it because now there's there's so much shit to deal with and it's so much more fun. Like when I played it uh, last summer and I was I was doing pretty good. I could beat normal 50% of the time. Like unless I had some bad, I mean unless the RNG was just fucking with me, like I could play pretty good. <laughs> uh, but this time I'm I'm struggling and they've added a hard mode which is insanely hard and new stuff to get and just a new um uh chris avalon uh wrote some i wish he just i mean he wrote some dialogue and some some stuff on the game as well and like it was like hey i want to do it so it's like (laughs) all of this stuff in this package that should have cost money and i'm like you guys could be using this money to fund ftl2 uh you could buy some jet skis for yourselves because you fucking deserve it they're like i will give it to you for free but um god it's robust and it's so much fun and it's added a layer of I thought the game was so well balanced before, and I was like, if you add anything else, I can't imagine it's going to work out for you. They just the systems you have to learn the systems enough, but now uh, it's a little bit more difficult, a little bit more micromanaging, but it feels good, it feels right. I uh, love the hacking. Uh, the hacking module is great. Love the mind control. Uh, one of the new modules that was added. You can control people that are trying to get into your your ship. You can control people on their ship, and they just. I mean, wreak havoc. Like, I, I will always target a mantis because the mantis uh, species is, or mantis race is the best melee combatant. Oh, shit. You can <laughs> fuck their stuff up from, I mean, it's it's cool and it balances. Um, so before, if you weren't equipped to deal with a team that was boarding your ship, which could happen. I mean, you could be really strong offensively, but if you didn't have those doors upgraded or you didn't have fighters within your own ship, you'd be fucked. Now you can mind control them before they can even teleport over. I mean, it's cool. Like, And you can also hack into that teleporter and send them back. I mean, there's just uh, there's a, there's a lot of shit going That's on. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Dude, they did such a good job on this, and it, it is absolutely incredible. So I'm really pumped about that. My wife's pissed. She hates FTL. Um, <laughs> I, just, I get sucked into it. I mean, there's no game that she despises more than that. She That's... calls it the space game. And I think I've talked about it because I get sucked into it. Because <laughs> don't, it is a space game. Don't start, <laughs> it, don't start didn't hit that level. Um, don't The issue with Don't Starve, I think, is I really liked it, but it, it was a bit grueling. To, to say the least, you, I mean, you but could I mean, put in a lot of time and then die. I mean, your wife didn't hate that game. That was no, she did. She didn't. I I played that game. I think that was a period of time when it was like shitty outside, and she had a bunch of shows okay. and movies she could watch. But okay. now that it's nice outside, and again, I, I get outside when I can, uh, uh-huh. as much as possible, because the weather's been unbelievable. You guys got shit on by Mother Nature, but <laughs> we've been like, thumbs up the whole time. But I mean, FTL is just my brain is built for that, and I'm not a space guy. I've never been a space guy, but I think I might be a space Ethan, guy. Like FTL makes me want to go to space. Yeah, Ethan, you're I, a space I, guy. I, I am. A, I think I'm a space yeah. guy. Let me put that on my resume. <laughs> Ethan Moses, space yeah. guy. And I mean, you know, I'm not getting calls back, but I mean, that's fine. I'm not a space guy. You know? hey, so, so, Ethan, um, would you rather play FTL or would you rather play XCOM? And you can even go historical XCOM. Oh, you know what? I'm telling you what, FTL, I'm, I got to go with FTL. Okay. And here's the reason why XCOM is great, but XCOM can be fucking frustrating as hell. Because the turnover for a game, I mean, modern XCOM, mm-hmm. um, and I love the Enemy Unknown expansion. It was awesome, it was great. But. Uh, playing uh, in Iron Man mode, which truly is the only way to play. 
Uh, <laughs> you could put 10 hours into it and your game could be fucked. And that could be a bit more frustrating. Like some people like that and I'm okay with it, but it can be a bit frustrating. FTL, the turnaround is so quick. You know, like when I was streaming, uh, I used the new ship and I got killed like the first, uh, the first encounter I had, I got wiped out. Just no chance. And I was okay. I was like, okay, I'm going to try it again. I mean, there's just so much new stuff happening. Um, and not that XCOM is formulaic at all, but it, it, it still has a, a somewhat linear kind of progression at times, uh, whereas uh, FTL is just fu- – like, so stuff can happen. And, and I could put half an hour into a game and be happy with that. You know? um, so it's all about dedication and the amount of time you want to put into it. I mean, they're both great games, but I would rather play FTL at this point. I've played enough XCOM for the rest of Josh, my life. Josh, are you going to get back into it? Yeah, I'll play absolutely. Um, I think I'm going to try. I, it out I thought FTL was fantastic. I'm not that. I'm not very good at it though. Yeah. I'm not as good as Ethan. <laughs> yeah. I, my, my win percentage on normals did it much t- lower. Didn't it take you a while to get there though, Ethan? I mean, we've got oh, like live me- stream and documentation of your struggles and advances. So, I would say I it put, took me about ten hours to beat it on easy. I didn't even know you could pause yeah. the game. You could pause the game. It's <laughs> integral. Yeah. I didn't know about timing your shots. It took me about 10 hours into easy. And the normal mode, I think, was probably like 40 or 50 hours later. And then I was like, okay, I'm in the... So it wasn't like I, I was just suddenly like a savant. Like my, my win percentage is probably 50 now, but back then it was like 1%. Like I'd win every once in a while. And the first time I won a normal was like so exciting and we have that document. yeah that, that was, was one of the yeah greatest, that's still uh, gets, greatest achievements in my life that I, was that was pretty awesome we i did that, watch yeah. a lot of your streams so like i feel like i learned a lot just from watching you 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 kind of fast-tracked me uh and i still suck which it, but it's not your fault well i you know that makes Despite. that warms my heart like that's like I, I don't have a game that i'm really great at and i wouldn't say ftl i'm like better than anybody because there's some people that do like no oxygen runs and all this crazy bullshit but that is a game that i feel pretty <laughs> Going into a forum and, and someone's talking about, like, what, what should I know? And I'm like, well, you know, time your lasers. Isn't it? Like, I feel good about that stuff. Uh, I kind of went down a dark path there for FTL where I thought I could give people uh, some, some information <laughs> or some, some, some hints and tips on it. So, but oh man, such a perfect fucking that, uh, I'm sorry. That play video, it. Go play it. Uh, a video of you beating normal. We've got, when we were posting the highlights on a regular basis, there are two that got posted to Steam that continue to get a lot of comments. We've got the really dumb one that Josh and I, uh, I even forget the name of that game right off the top of my head, that space combat game we were playing. Gets a ton of them, but the other one is your FTL. Oh, yeah. And if you ever just want to feel good about the internet, like the amount of people just cheering you on and congratulating you on your accomplishment, like it's just, it's a feel good time in the comments of that uh, of that video. That was a feel good time. I, I like that. Yeah, that makes you feel good. I'm gonna keep feeling good, and I will. But I'll I'll give it a shot on the on the iPad. <laughs> see how that runs. I never really got it got into it too heavily. I think I got more into the soundtrack because I still listen to that on a regular basis because it's uh, awesome. new songs, yeah. advanced edition. Uh, oh, new soundtrack. Yeah, some tight like oh yeah 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 man. The package is boom. <laughs> <laughs> it is just. Oh God, those guys! I I want to call them idiots because I'm like, make some more money off this game. But I, I respect why they're doing it, and it seems so weird in a culture where people are just the gaming industry is kind of trying to milk money out of people. And these guys, I'm just like, you guys charge for this stuff. But I get it. I understand. I respect the fuck out of them. I'd kiss them if I needed to. <laughs> I'm just saying. You need charge to kiss these guys. I need to kiss these guys. If I see you, I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kiss you. Josh, did you want to say anything about Marvel Heroes, or I could pull another game out of the hat? Uh, I, f- I do. I feel like because, it, okay, so, you put so much time into it. I feel like it. You should at least say a couple words. I th- yeah, I, we were talking about this uh, uh, before we went on the air. I think, and uh, I think I decided it was about. I probably put about two hundred and fifty hours Jesus. into that game, and right now. I would absolutely play it if someone said, you want to play some? I'd be like, yeah, I want to play. Absolutely. I always want to play. Um, I, I, I want to say, uh, Ethan had some questions, but I want to say that I've learned a lot about myself playing this game. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, what their intention I've, was. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned, <laughs> I've learned uh, my limits of like, uh, I've got like, I've gone places I didn't think I would go, like, as far as, like, the reasons I play. Um, you know, I, 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 I mean, I really enjoy the game because I, it's, I believe it is fundamentally a, like, it's a very good 
game in the genre that it's in. Like, I think it is, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the things that Diablo uh, did that made people so, like, you know, addicted to those, I think this game does um, easily as good as, as the, you know, any of those games that franchise has done. Um, pro- probably because, you know, the lead designer is uh, the guy who, you know, he was behind what one and two, a lot of that stuff. So, um I really like comic books, so I love all the heroes and all this stuff. So I'm really, you know, I'm really into that stuff. But now I'm like finding myself, I'm finding myself (laughs) logging on to take part in like, I'm like, oh, there's a, there's extra, you know, loot drop percentage on this one certain type of challenge thing. And I find, I'm, I'm finding myself farming, like farming for loot. And I don't, that is not me. I've, I'm, you've heard me before, like rally against that kind of gameplay. Like, I like story, and I like, you know, I like to I like to play for fun. Like, why am I trying to get loot and stuff? And uh, so I kind of I feel like a little bit of a hypocrite playing this game. <laughs> a lot of a hypocrite because I'm too, I'm playing this like people play WoW and and you know stuff like that, and I like God I feel like a jerk. But I mean I'm still playing casually in a lot of ways because uh like playing with kylie uh you know but she to some degree is also getting into it in those ways too which is just crazy to me so i think like you're you know farming loot with your girlfriend yes okay we're actually going like oh we gotta we gotta take that for you uh, there's this rare item find boost and go do a couple of missions in this challenge thing and like what the oh my god what has happened do you, do you guys man, ever have find, find the moment where where you realize that like you're looking forward to your next date night so that you can go try to get some item or some some event like absolutely we'll get the email like on a on a wednesday or thursday and it'll be like oh this weekend there's a you know whatever some kind of event going on and it's, you know, to get lots of goodies dropping and whatever, and we'll be like, "Ooh, which night are we gonna have our, <laughs> you know, our day? Which day are we gonna dedicate an entire day to?" <laughs> and we do it, and I don't care. Man, it's it's so much fun. I love. I just love it so much. But uh, Ethan was Happy asking earlier. Uh, Ethan was asking earlier about uh, you. You were interested in what's changed i guess or whatever well, yeah because i guess when i played it last year and not not that i didn't like it but again we all you know i, I wrote a kind of a, a weird review where i kind of like took a notice of uh, some of my bias maybe I, going into it i thought it, it was it, a spot on review well it was it was as accurate as someone who was biased could be i guess <laughs> is, is kind of it but i i felt there was you know there were some fundamental issues with the uh, uh getting heroes and loot and that kind of stuff and it wasn't as yeah. exciting but but based on everything i hear like they've changed some stuff and they've made it fun people are pumped about it so i was mm-hmm. curious about what i mean if you see a difference between last year and and, and i guess this year because it's been about seven or eight months since i played yeah I, I forget sometimes that you know when it launched uh some of the free-to-play aspects were kind of a little a little more gross like you know they'd be like well you can you can find new heroes from random drops but it was so rare, you yeah. know, that like you never ever saw it, and and those those kinds of things people complain about um, in certain characters not being all that fun to play and all that stuff. So since then, though, they completely changed the system where you uh, acquire new heroes. You can still buy stuff, you know. You can still in the cash shop. You can still how do you uh, acquire a hero and stuff, but, if you don't buy it? But now they have they have a new form of currency that drops that you use to buy new heroes okay. and. Uh, they drop very, very frequently, and I've gotten I'm like seven, for, seven or eight free dudes uh, free out dudes. of it. Um, free dude weekend. Uh, yeah, and so it, like, and they'll like all the time they'll have like little promotions and just give you free guys or like buy one get ones and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, they have their you know they they make their money, and the costume stuff is really you know there's just like in what Dota or League or whatever, like you yeah. know those are where you get the. So the whales not, really because uh, that was one of Ethan and I's issues. Just that with loot games, we want to get gear that ch- like affects the look of our character, and that's obviously not going to happen with oh, superheroes. But the, so they right. have different costumes. Is that the 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 trade off? Yeah, the, they, yeah, they've added new characters, new classes, or uh, new uh, costumes at a pretty alarming rate. Like there are some okay. like there there are a lot of different costumes for a lot of the characters, uh, and the, you know the more popular ones have more, but um, 
every time they release a new character, they've got at least, you know, two costumes. And uh, so, so people can, you know, make themselves unique. And if you're into, I feel like if you're into the comic stuff, that the way they do the costumes is probably the preferred way of doing it versus mm-hmm. like mixing and matching crazy, you know, cause then everyone's going to look like crazy, stupid city of heheroes characters or something. <laughs> gonna be mixing, like, I'm going to have this blue top and I got these crazy, you know, Rob Leefield pants with 40 <laughs> tactical pouches on it. And like, you know, like that's not, that's not Spider-Man, you know? Yeah. Uh, but they have, they have like changed so much and, and the starting characters now, instead of like a shitty five dudes, you've got, uh, like a dozen guys to choose from, and, oh, and that nice. is like Captain America and Colossus, and okay, cool. you know, like a bunch of like cool, yeah, like much better starting selection, so, um, which is awesome. The other night when Josh and I were gaming, I threw out the uh, the option of like I I thought about trying out Marvel Heroes again, and Josh wants to be involved. Ethan, do you want to be? Do you want to tag into that? Do we want to pick a day and the three of us I, give Marvel Heroes I, a shot? Yeah, I mean, I think I could. I would definitely look into. I mean, yeah, I'd take time for that. Yeah. That'd be fun to play with you guys. I think playing by myself, it's not yeah. gonna be a game. Yeah, it's just not gonna be a game for oh, that. So. I was gonna oh. wave to Aubrey, but she decided not to come in. Walk back out. <laughs> All right, um, I've got a couple more games to talk about, but I wanted to see Cole. Did you have anything else? We don't get to talk to you that often, so. He's, oh, he, be... he had he had to cut for just a second. He'll be right back. Oh wow, that's thanks thanks Google Hangout for letting me know. All right, well <laughs> then. I want to start our campaign, Josh. Um, we need okay. to sell the world on the fifty dollars price point of Earth Defense Force twenty twenty five. I want I, first of all, I want to say that I I balked at the price uh, initially, and then uh, when we were talking about it, you are you are Mister Earth Defense Force of, of our group, and you said, "Hey, everybody, let's just just hold off yep. for a limit a minute. Let me do some research." And uh, basically, you discovered that the the online campaign was fully fleshed out. You can play online with your bros and gave it the green yep. light. You and I have had played probably four or five hours of this game at this point, five or six, something like that. Yep. Yep. And yep. it is, it is well worth the $50 in my opinion, but um, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is Man. so much video game. It is so fun. It is. I really I, think they should retitle it, retitle it to just beat video game. <laughs> <laughs> It's a gamey game. Well, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It looked those games always looked fun to me, but I always thought like ah, I played it with Josh one time, and it was just there was something missing. I don't know what it was. Maybe passion well, that, on my behalf. Well, did you play Insect Armageddon or did you play Twenty Seventeen? Ah, uh, man, I I think it's probably Twenty Seventeen. It was it was the within one. the last two and a half years or so. So okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it was. I didn't. It had insect. It was. Yeah, it was probably 2017. I had I had good dumb fun with 2017. I thought it was like more of a hey, mm-hmm. this should be a twenty twenty dollar game because look, I can shoot a rocket and I can shoot down yeah. that building and there's giant bugs. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I know. killed more buildings than bugs. Way more buildings oh, yeah. than bugs. Oh, yeah. I missed a lot. But we've been playing on hard and we hit a point where well, it's still fun as hell. Like I will still clear out the buildings. Like if there's a giant tower, that thing is going down. I don't care <laughs> what else is going on. <laughs> But uh, there, there hit a point where we started had to actually kind of play a little bit strategically and like choose our, you know, they've added classes to the to the game and, um, and Josh now has the ability to summon a giant mech that is just yeah. devastating. Oh shit! Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I've been having really so good. much fun. I, I started trying to think of like, you know, the shooting the buildings is worth like five bucks. The 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 character classes are probably worth five bucks. Just the dumbass ragdoll physics of all of these giant bugs. That's probably, <laughs> so good. That's and probably, the robots, the yeah. big dumb, <laughs> you hit them in the... <laughs> kind of spring back and forth. That's worth 10 bucks. Uh, what else we got? Like, just some of the ridiculous weaponry, like just laying waste to the horizon. Oh, that's, explosions that, are so good. That's another yeah. 10 bucks. The fact that they've added more materials to the buildings, like when they crumble, they just look better. Like they are, they really invested yeah. some, some time in, into those. That's another five bucks. I don't know what I'm up to, but, um, I think 150. Yeah. That's yeah, a really is. expensive yeah. game. <laughs> well, then, you definitely, it's worth buying the collector's edition for sure. <laughs> it's, but it's got like a hundred <laughs> missions too. Like, Oh, that's nice. We're starting to really, yeah. like, 
I felt like I mean, uh, there's games that they, there's a lot of these games that come out like oh we have like thousands of missions, but the game the missions are more or less the same. I mean, is it is there a sense of progression to it? I guess is there a difference in it? Is it just stage one ants, stage two spiders, stage three chinchillas? Like, I mean, is, <laughs> it, does it feel different? Chinchillas aren't bugs, Ethan. <laughs> well, they're kind of like a bug. It's like a furry bug that with you know. Like, I hate them. Spits I hate them like I hate bugs. So <laughs> bugs to me. <laughs> I think there's an absolute well so far it's there's good. a really good. T- Progression, mm-hmm. like because you like the the environments. Uh, some of them are, you know, kind of similar city areas, but they always have have like something you're fighting around. Like when it, you know maybe this one's got a like a really big park uh, that kind of puts you in a corner, which makes you play way differently when you can't you know run backwards for two mm-hmm. miles and you know or like a takes place a uh, kind of like up on a big bridge where so you have you're like kind of shooting down at dudes or uh, you're on a beach. You know, or uh, like big for we haven't even seen these areas yet, but I know they got them like big open rolling hills, really? like oh, wow. completely away from civilization, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, like you, you know, yeah, you start they kind of each level they kind of introduce. They add like one thing. Either, it seems yeah, like. so they'll be like, here's a new enemy type, or you know, to inter- here they have the one level to introduce the enemy, and then they'll have the next level will be like, okay, now here are a thousand of them, <laughs> deal, like deal with it, you know, or. Uh, or you have other objectives like you know the first time you see the big drop ships come in, you just need to kill the stuff they drop and survive it. And then like a couple missions later, it's like uh, here's four of these drop ships, and to progress, you have to kill them. And you're like, what? How? Like, and you know when you beat it, would we finally oh beat God. like that one level? It was so good. It was so epic. Like they died like, so well. There's so it's so there's so much drama <laughs> in a in a co-op level of EDF. Like way. More than I mean, it's it's so much bro. more fun than it deserves than it <laughs> deserves to be, or maybe it's exactly what it deserves because I think that's the other perfect. mistake. I played twenty seventeen by myself. I never really and like the few <sighs> multiplayer sessions I had, the other person really didn't get into it to that stupid level. But like yeah. you know, I feel like we're the perfect audience for it, and all of our friends should buy it because. Uh, it's so I'm much not fun. falling into that trap again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. You didn't buy like a whole system for it. I was I was kind of bummed it wasn't on 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 PC, but um, oh, it's not on PC. No, oh. um, so not they, yet. Not yet. They did they put, usually come out. And Six there's Armageddon made made its way there. So uh, yeah, but that was not the same developer. And either, then um, but so you hit the D pad, yeah. and it's got like. I want to say like 20 categories of emotes that all have so dumb. five or 12 emotes. Like just it, like there's like probably a dozen different things to yell when you're angry. And most of them are just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so Japanese. And then like all that. the, there's all so the, the civ- little signs you go like, yeah, that's a Japanese game developer. And there's always <laughs> civilians running everywhere and they're all screaming and saying the dumbest shit. And, and, but the, and then the EDF troops are all just like, you know, super into it doing EDF chants and just like the, yeah. the, just the, the little details around it are so dumb and so entertaining. Um, and, but then but, you just have but, those moments. Like when you shoot down a drop ship, that is just, it's fucking epic. And then, like you, yeah, just, you just see it just like flaming out as it's crashing into the horizon, and then it's just it blinks away and it's gone. <laughs> it's like it was. Never- <laughs> yeah, you go like, oh, oh, I'm on an Xbox 360. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 even with those like those limitations, they don't like they don't try to hide it necessarily. You know, I mean, they'll do the little thing where like, oh, this thing disappears, it fades out, or whatever. But. Uh, they also there's just times where like it'll slow down like when you're dropping in like a huge airstrike that is just com- you know oh, maybe yeah. it's going to destroy 50 buildings you know like two square blocks just get nuked it's you know, it'll be 5 frames a second <laughs> and every every frame is absolutely the most beautiful thing you've ever seen so it <laughs> makes it okay you know oh, it's man. just like when you're seeing ants flying to the moon like this shit is just blowing up everywhere and it's just like yeah, like, eh, it's going to kill the frame rate. Whatever. It looks awesome. Do it. Yeah. You know, it's so cool. Keep those ants off the moon, man. <laughs> you don't want to. That makes me nervous. Gotta g- I got to give you a reason oh. to go to the moon. Last Bastion Actually, of Hope. I think, aren't they, didn't they say something in this, uh, like, while we're playing, like, the story kind of shit that's going on around you? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> it, the, the way the story plays out, it's exactly like Titanfall. Uh, it, <laughs> it's, it's like. There's like a play going on, you know, uh, uh, around you, but you're not really 
you know, take part oh, in it. So yeah. you'll hear them talking about like, I oh, really, we're, we're, I thought they said something about them being on the moon and they're like hitting it with, with their missiles and yeah, like so, it's talking about bouncing off these shields and stuff. I'm like, I can't even see what's going on. Like, this is nothing to do with me. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I do remember them awesome. saying something like they were hiding on the moon, like where we couldn't see them or something like that. So, oh, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, maybe we go to the moon at some point. I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. That, yeah. I've had, like, I expected us to have good, dumb fun, but like, I can't wait till we play it again and work. Like I said, yeah. half dozen hours in, so I've got my money's worth. There's always I I can find reasons why it's worth fifty dollars, and especially if you have a a, a buddy to play with. So um, mm-hmm. I tried to write that game off, but it's been one of the big highlights of my year. So did, that, did you see the news last night? No. <laughs> what? Let me put it on the camera. Okay. Yes! Coop. Coop Coop's in. Yes. Coop bought it. <laughs> You're so so- yeah. He seems so solemn for a second. I've been mm-hmm. I've been giving him hell at the office. I was like, dude, he's like, okay, maybe thirty bucks. I was like, but thirty bucks, but then you could do this and you could do this, and then they blow up and there's robots and because somebody was on our there's stream, so somebody was on our stream. Was like, aren't you guys just doing the same thing you did the last time? You're just fighting those ants. And I was like, you've seen all the other levels. Like, then plus these ants are coming out of emergence holes, and there's a ton of them. And it's hilarious because Josh is standing on top of a building that I blew up, but on his screen, he's still on top of the building. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Even it's, though, even when it bugs out, it's the best. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. I, oh, I love that game so much. It's so good. All right. Does anybody else have? I have one more game on my list. Does anybody else have anything they want to throw out? Cole, I haven't checked in with you for a while, so uh, I haven't really played anything in a while All besides right. Infamous. So I'm good. Ethan, any shout outs? I, I've gotten excited enough for the podcast, so I want to. I want right. to. I want to relish in your I own. Got, I got one non-gaming shout out. Okay. Uh, Gifford is a father. He is. Oh yeah. Good oh, job. Oh yeah. Thomas yeah. was born right. at like three o'clock this morning. That was a. They went to the hospital. Long like, Labor Day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I believe this. I believe it's Tomas. Oh, sorry. Am I, am sorry. I, <laughs> Tomas. <laughs> can, can I, neither conform nor deny. Josh, did you have anything else you wanted to give a shout out to? Uh, did I talk about Marvel Heroes? Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. That game's really good. Did any of you guys? Wait, buy- wait, wait. Wait, wait. I do. I and, it, and it's related to that, but I promise it's awesome. They had an April Fool's joke. Marvel Heroes, they were like, hey, we're at, uh, the new character's released today. It's Taskmaster. <laughs> he's like Deadpool's friend or whatever. He's like, uh, he, he basically like takes everyone else's powers or, or he learns their fighting moves when he fights them or whatever. He's like a bad guy in the game. And it was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> and then the next day they're like, oh, no, really? No, he's out. Here it is. Boom. And then like, they released him. <laughs> it, was re- it was actually really cool. That's, was, that's did you surprising. see... Speaking of another uh, April Fool's joke, real quick, uh, Blood Dragon Two Vietnam War Two <laughs> no, was that? I, see that. I believe oh, I, I saw I a poster. I don't know if I don't know if uh, it was actually officially released or was... somebody made it, but I didn't research. I don't know why I didn't, but um, oh, man, that that was an April Fool's joke last year. I forgot that, but that would be that kind of gets me excited. That day a is bit. that day is so. I just don't even want to look at the news that day, on April Fool's Day anymore. No, yeah, it's really it's but the best April Fool's truth to come out. Did anybody else buy Goat Simulator? <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Why not? I didn't. Okay, I didn't I've been watching. I've been watching. Did everybody? Watching. Did everybody uh, see the Dead Island Goat Simulator trailer? Do you know what I'm talking? About? Oh shit! Dead. Yes, I did that. No. One. Awesome. Oh, they remade. Was... They remade that De- Dead Island trailer, the like the real serious one, but with goats. Oh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> was great. So yeah. that got my like. I cool. get. I gave them ten dollars for the game because of that trailer. So like, here's ten dollars for the trailer. Like I, I, I get a game with this. Awesome. I had no idea what to expect. I put. I played like uh, forty five minutes the other night, but kind of stayed away. Uh, when it when it was released, as far as finding out what it actually was, but. The fact that it's just a big sandbox to just do dumb shit in, and then um, some of the some of the secret stuff that it actually ties into making the goat like kind of devil like made me really really happy that they went to that level. There's just <laughs> there's just so much hidden stuff in the world, and um, it's so dumb. And I was glitching it out to a ridiculous degree. I got some power that just 
the physics hated and it just kept like shooting me to the to the sky like it just i was just like bouncing all <laughs> over the world the game couldn't keep up um the first thing i did was i uh, had the ability to like summon in other goats as as like sacrifices and i just dropped like 200 goats in the middle of the screen and it was probably down to three or four frames a second as i was trying to run away from all the goats and i was just trying to break the thing and had a blast and um it's kind of one of those things where you look up the achievements and try to figure out what little tasks you have to do to uh to unlock them but just i don't know i'm i'm still at the point where i laugh every time the goat gets hit by a car so (laughs) easily pleased but uh 10 bucks it's dumb fun there's no reason this game should exist but it's does anybody i haven't even read up on like how it got made who made it why it's here um you know, I thought it was a joke to begin with, but like everybody is having fun with this game. Like everybody in my office bought it after we saw that trailer. And well, P- I think it was PC Gamer may have interviewed had a like an actual farmer play the game and give his take on how accurate the goat simulator actually was. <laughs> I don't remember who did it, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. But like, oh, I love that. I mean, the game, like what I've seen of it, and and there's. I, I won't mention this because it's a really big spoiler, but all I saw was something called the big goat because there's different goats that you can yeah. play as. And the big goat is this <laughs> most hilarious thing I have ever seen. And it's just is like, the, I, is it the fat goat? Is that my goat? No, suddenly got this fat. Is, which is, this is not in fact a goat. It's called a or giant goat or something, <laughs> but it's not a goat at all. It's something complete, like completely different from a goat. It's a mammal, a gigantic mammal. We'll leave it at that. But it was so silly and stupid. I'm like, man, this game, uh, it, you know, I, I would get it, but I don't think I would play it enough. But I really enjoy other people playing it because it looks. Yeah, it, it I reminds mean, me of um, Polygon was playing. I've been watching a lot of Polygon. I love those overview videos. Um, so definitely shout out to them for that one. But uh, they they, they, they mentioned it. it felt like Tony Hawk uh, game, kind of in the <laughs> uh, sandbox nets sure. of it. That's what. Uh, that's kind of. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's like a really good. Uh, so, really good. Uh, I don't know. So my random like the dumb stuff that I like about it, the fact that they didn't, like you can climb up ladders, but they didn't do a climbing animation for the goat. He just kind of just floats up yeah. the, up the ladder. Um, and then um, the, like I did a lot of the, like some of the secret stuff, but one, like I ended up getting into a goat fight. Like there's a goat fighting ring and I won the goat fighting <laughs> ring. And then it, some, for some reason it turned me into like this big bulky goat by the end of it. And I was walking around really, really, I start, I was like slow. I couldn't sprint anymore, and um, like half my body was clipping through the ground at this point. And um, this was towards the end of the stream. And then somebody had the idea. They're like, they knew that one of the houses had a treadmill, and they're like, go find that. Go find the treadmill. Maybe you can like run some of your fat off. And of course, when you <laughs> find the treadmill and you step on the treadmill, it just shoots you off the back like a <laughs> rocket and just into stuff. And just uh, it was it was so dumb and it was so. I don't know why this game exists, but it, I I love I love that everybody was playing it, and it was it was the highlight of my week. It was it was a lot of fun. So that's good. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's pretty much all all I had. I I have. If you guys want to talk shop, if if you if either, any of you guys want to take off, you can. Otherwise, I can run through random headlines and just uh, talk through game industry stuff if anybody wants to hang around. But if you don't want to talk news, yeah, I got some, yeah. I, I, I got some dinner to make, right. or else I would. But this has I been fun, a, guys. I got a clue from our WrestleMania party. All right. So. <laughs> you party. Get ready for that. But hey, I love you guys. I miss you guys. Let's talk soon. Maybe kiss over the internet. All right, dude. <laughs> All right. See you, Ethan. See you, Cole. <laughs> Thanks. See you, guys. Thank you. Bye. <gasps> oh, I forgot to talk about Mario Kart 8 with Cole on here. Oh. Because, oh. Till so, so so next time. It looks so pretty. Rainbow Road looks so pretty. I, I can do a quick news rundown, but I, I'll have to. Yeah, I have to jet soon too. No big, no big deal. Um, we talked about Amy Hennig. Uh, Bro Force is coming out next week on Steam Early Access, so that's like finally a reality for the masses. Uh, It'll be fun. Yep, yep, yep. Have you been playing any of the Wolf Among Us? No. Do you any? And you probably know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking buffkins. I did get, so I got a I got a Amazon Fire TV. One of my uh, one of my Roku's 
um, is on on the fritz. So I was like, okay, I'm, I've got I've got multiple Rokus and I've got three in the house. So I was like, I'll replace one with the Fire TV, see what it's like. I all my digital contents through there, uh, but they didn't ship my they didn't ship my game controller, so I haven't been able to play. Uh, um, uh, some can't you games. use an Xbox controller? I don't know. I thought it was all, it was all Bluetooth. Or PS3 one. Oh well, maybe a PS3. They said that okay. it would support other controllers. So I'll have to look at. I'll, I I didn't know that. I'll see if you can do it. that. So because it came with. It gave me a free game, this Sev Zero that basically looks like God of... I'm oh, not a God of War. Uh, uh, Gears of Warframe is what I was calling it. Um, yeah. And then... Uh, but you'll be happy to know that Pinball FX is already on the platform. So. Oh, my God. So I actually... I actually already? That's awesome. I, tweet, I tweeted at Zen Studios. I was like, I love your games and I'm buying them again, but I just wanted you to know that buying all of your tables on four different platforms is probably my limit so can i please have have a zen account <laughs> so I can, I can play star wars on everything i don't have to, i don't want to have to buy it nine nine yeah. different times but yeah um uh, so I'll, I'll, you know I, I actually i did play some i played some of those the newer star wars tables i played uh did the, the, is, is the is the third the, pack out yet uh, they've been teasing it. Yeah. I, okay. So those those did so, come. Yeah, I think that's what I was playing from. I, uh, crap! I was playing like a uh, basically like a. The Han Solo one was when they announced. X-wing battle one. Um, no, I think that was. Oh, the, maybe not. Maybe I'm playing from the second pack. Yeah, I think that's the second pack. I've been going back through that, trying to get some get some scores up there. I. I'm I'm, I'm just randomly picking tables where you have high scores mm-hmm. and going after them. So. Yeah. No, I saw that. <laughs> I was not happy. Let's see. That's all the April Fool's bullshit. Shadow of Mordor is actually coming out in October. I like. Yeah. It seemed like one of those games that I didn't know how far off it actually was, and it seems like one of those games that mm-hmm. uh, it was one of those trailers that was so good to be true, or or too good to be true. Like I feel like this is going to be one of those mm-hmm. games that they it's the next Watch Dogs. It just keeps getting delayed, and by the time it comes out, it isn't what they said it was going to be, and um. But well, it has I, a date, so this this holiday is looking okay. I I was yeah I, I I thought it would be next year, but if you think about like the the developer walkthrough stuff that they did when they were first showing that game off, mm-hmm. well, uh, you know you were watching a look like a like yeah that's a totally doable, you know playable thing. I just I think that if it's coming out this year, it's probably not at the, in the scope that I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, like. I, you, it's not going to be some gigantic open world. You're probably just going to just kind of, you know, warp open around a map areas. and it's going to have kind of <laughs> tile sets or whatever. It'll be somewhat limited. You know, you're a Mordor, so you're not going to get beautiful Elven Forest kind of, you know, BS. It's just going to, everything's going to be but dirty. But as long as they're open, open worlds, uh, like some of the recent Assassin's Creed games, I'd be, that'd be fine. Like, I think that's got to be the scope they're going for, right? Yeah. Or we just keep... something, you know, you're not going to jump on a, Jump on a horse and go right, right, no, right around. I, I don't think I want that anyway. Like, I don't. Well, I mean, that could be cool. I I could be talking. I don't know. Minute. Like, <laughs> I mean, Red Red Dead uh, Ranger. I mean, that would be fun. I think. <sighs> yes, I need more. Did you see that? Volition was working on a fucking western that got canceled. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Hold on, let me look. Let me look that. What happened? What kind of what kind of game was it? I just said I just read Volition Western. So hold on. Western game canceled. Ah, my search isn't fast. Oh, here it comes. Volition was making a post-apocalyptic western. Now oh, that's different. Post-apocalyptic. I missed that part. <laughs> mm. um, so uh, the postman. The <laughs> yeah. game. Players would have journeyed through an open world primarily on foot, knowing. Uh, it uh, right or wrong, we we know we could have made this game, but it would have taken too long. It wouldn't have been the responsible thing to do. It was called Zeus. That was the what? I, I mean, I mean, they don't have Red Faction anymore, so I wonder what like what else Volition is is going to be working on. So Red Faction Redemption, <laughs> but the fact that they did, weren't going to have horses, yeah. I think they was probably doomed. They knew it. Like we can't have horses make a, in the game. I Might as well cancel. They should just make a western. It doesn't have to be post-apocalyptic. That would be. I know. Um, Secret Ponchos is still the best indie game title of a game that I don't know anything about. It's coming out soon. Um, lots of 
so all the um, let's see if I can find that list. Lots of is, is Gal- Galaxy coming out soon? I've seen promos for it, but I I don't know. Um, that game looks really good. Let's see here. A bunch of uh, Game Boy Advance titles hit Virtual Console on the Wii U. Yeah. So there's something else to play, like Metroid Fusion was the was yeah. the big one. What else they got? Mario and Luigi. Oh, Advance Wars. I would we might need to play some Advance mm-hmm. Wars. Um, they also need to make a new Advance Wars. Um, F Zero, yeah. Gold, Golden Sun, good stuff. Worry. Oh, the original WarioWare. Oh, Golden Sun. Forgot about those games. Those were pretty decent. But yeah, I mean, like Nintendo's so frustrating. But I'm still such a sucker. Like I'm excited for those Game Boy Advance games, and then, like I said earlier, that that Mario Kart Eight trailer. It just, you know, eight HD Nintendo games. <laughs> just they look so good. Mm-hmm. Like they, yeah. they've nailed whatever. Like they could have, they could have taken a wrong turn with the style, the style that they chose, and everything that they've shown off. Like from um, the from Mario 3D World and on. Like everything just looks. Mm-hmm. Super good. Um, yeah. Alien Isolation. Where? Where? Are you, what are your thoughts right now? Very pumped for okay. that. Okay. I think that is going to be really fun. But there's no. Uh, I mean, it's a single player, sur- like survival horror, amnesia e kind of thing, and that's that's got that. What? A, that's to me sounds like a weird game for a. Like a sixty dollar boxed game. Oh yeah, so, I didn't even think they would go that route. I would assumed it would have been. Are they gonna try to do full price for that? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know yet. But if if they do, that's. Oh no, the amnesia. Uh, the amnesia that's gonna be tough. Worries me in that. I think the somebody wrote a, a kind of bad preview of it, basically saying like if the alien is the only thing you're worried about, it's gonna get old. Kind of like. You know how when we played mm-hmm. Outlast, it was fun for about ninety minutes, but then there was the the next yeah. two or three hours where it's no longer scary. You're just being chased all over the place, but you know mm-hmm. what the scares are, and you know how many different tricks can that alien have. That'll be, I think that's a problem with the genre. I don't know if that's something that that game can particularly solve, but if they do, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope I, I mean, I hope it. I hope it's got enough going for it that you know if if they do if it's fun, then I hope all those other pieces don't you know hold it back. I hope it's priced right and people, I don't know, because I I I like that I like horror games and there aren't enough good ones mm-hmm. and and it's usually I think just for those kinds of reasons where like you can't it, it, it's got to be multiplayer. It's got to be some like, kind of long campaign, and like hor- horror experiences can't be twelve hours. Like you just yeah. can't yeah. keep any of that up. It's it's hard enough for a movie mm-hmm. to keep it, you know, an hour and a half even of, you know, good. You know, it's always like, oh man, that was real. Had some great scary moments, but the ending sucked. And like, you know, I, it's just even harder for games. I yeah, but it seems like the safest bet as far as the Alien franchise has had, like going more this route than. I think they can they have more of a chance of pulling this off than making it an interesting action game at this point. So, um, mm-hmm. be curious to see how that how that ends up, or if we're just getting on the hype train again and destined to to crash once more. Um, so, two guys in my office have an Nvidia Shield for random reasons, and it just got cut to one hundred ninety nine dollars. And oh. they're doing a lot of couch gaming with the Nvidia Shield. <laughs> Are you? Thinking about buying one? I've done dumber things, right? <laughs> but, Wait, why though? What do you? Oh, just uh, for me. I mean, just, no, no. Yeah. For, for me, it's just because all my gaming is back in my office. It's back in the corner or removed from the house. Mm-hmm. And if I want to do casual stuff, that's like why I was excited for Hearthstone on the iPad because I could play that out on the couch when other things are going on. And versus feeling like I need to shut myself in this corner because it's I need to focus on video games. So with the shield I could, you know, I could casually play some Borderlands out in the uh out in the living room again. But but, but what's it gonna do that your Vita isn't already doing? Uh just the this the game library, playing more of my, my bigger games, I guess. The games that I'm actively playing. Um you know, um 
yeah, it's just the games that aren't on the Vita, Vita, the the ones I need for my PC. So they're up on PS4 too, right? Because you can still remote play that. Oh yeah, I have even five. Even yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I mean, all the really big releases are PC wonder, and PS4. I, I should I should get a hold of one of their shields and compare that to how the Vita streams because. I tried the Vita streaming yeah. on the PS3 and it was fine. I haven't actually tried it on PS4, so. Oh. Um, yeah, I, haven't, I completely for, was. I have been playing my PS4. That was the like mm-hmm. when Infamous came out. It was the first time in months that I actually turned that machine on. So. Um. Let's see. I think that was. Oh, I was kind of bummed. the The co-founders of of, um. Runic Games, the Torchlight guys, they left their studio to go more indie. And I was like, why oh. isn't why isn't Runic why aren't you indie? Like why why can't you like can't you change direction or I don't know, I really like the, tor- the Torchlight mm-hmm. games and and what those guys have done and it's kind of sad to see that they that company got to the point where they felt like they couldn't go do what they wanted to go do with it. So, um, you know, because that's not that big of a studio. Tor- Torchlight MMO not happening? They didn't, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything for... I, I'd be surprised if it was, considering that was... You know, that was announced at the height of all the MMO announcements, so... I don't know what they do with Torchlight from here. Like, they can keep making more of it, but... Um, but yeah, I'm guessing that they probably felt like they were stuck with Torchlight and wanted to do something different. That would be the only... Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, I really like that studio, so... Um, and then Diablo is introducing seasons and rifts, so they're gonna keep trying to add add content the like, content to the game. Like, really liked Good. what Reaper of Souls had out of the box, so um, that they actually seem to have a plan to continue to add content is a good thing. Versus, uh, they didn't seem to have a plan with oh, the auction house will just carry us through. Um, yeah, that that's that was the thing about Diablo, which is kind of. Well, a thing that was put in the spotlight after playing so much like Marvel Heroes, and I w- was like, "Wow, they don't like Marvel Heroes." Like, Gazillion's adding a new character class every month, mm-hmm. and uh, like a decent amount of extra areas. And what Diablo Three's been out for how long? Yeah, <laughs> years. <laughs> and right, and this is the first time they've had any kind of content added, and it's a mm-hmm. it's one class and. I mean, it's, it's you know, very, the, the full act, but I mean, going the, going the expansion route is very kind of old school, uh, like an yeah. old school production model for them. Like they, I mean, that game it, it doesn't have to be free to play, but it should have those. It should have some hooks for for new content or reasons to keep coming back that aren't just you know just the loot grind isn't isn't enough with as many mm-hmm. competitors as it has right now, and as many good competitors as it has right now. So. Well, they, they, it's not like they've demonstrated a, a you know, a, any kind of affinity to like the new types of business models, like you know, ways to make money. Like they don't have, just WoW have microtransaction kind of. And it's, I'm just using that word because it's I thought they, general, but general use. But no, I think the only thing I read was like they're prepared if they need to go that route, but they haven't added that stuff. Like they let you buy mounts and like dumb stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. But there's still, that's still expansion model, yeah. uh, monthly fee model. Mm-hmm. You know, StarCraft expansions. I did. They they're not really with the times in so many ways. But I mean, but but I guess Hearthstone's that first step there, ah. and then we'll see what Heroes of the Storm does for them. Yeah, right, right, right. But, but even that, it's like they're late to their to the game on that one, and that was that was like a <laughs> like Dota was based on a Blizzard product, and it seems crazy to me that. But now, you know, Valve and Riot are just, you know, ma- making bank off of so it's, this thing that was, you know, kind of a Blizzard thing. Do you know if uh, StarCraft 2 has just really fallen off? Like that, I mean, did basically League and Dota just kind of cut into their audience? Or is it still just doing its thing in Korea and it's fine? Yeah, I think it's doing its thing in Korea, but I, I don't think it got quite the steam. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> other places that... Oh, ha, 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 ha. I didn't mean. I didn't mean yeah. for that to happen. Would you judge me if I now bought Battlefield Four just so I can see the giant shark in the DLC? Uh, yes, but okay. I know you wouldn't do that. You would never do that. 
I really just want another Bad Company game. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I was digging through this. Yeah. Shit. Um, do you have three thousand dollars to buy a new Nvidia card, the Titan Z? Why do you need a three thousand dollar graphics card? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think I wrote, uh, I think I wrote nah. at the time that I was like, I think it's cool that they just like they're just gonna throw this out there, like set some sort of mm-hmm. some some sort of goal out there, uh, versus just waiting for technology to catch up with it. But that was a three thousand dollar video card. If you are the type of person who's just got a lot of money, you know, we always say this, like you know, you can just get something crazy. But uh, if you're going to run like three. Uh, of like super high res monitors in surround mode. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Spending a little bit more on a video card would be that's the only way you're going to get like the, all the bells and whistles on uh, with the, with that kind of resolution. So there's a market out there somewhere uh, that's going to sell twelve uh, tw- twelve copies. <laughs> oh yeah, to some to s- some business. Right. Um. I think that's it. What's upcoming? What is? What are we looking forward to next? Like, the fiscal's yeah, over. I, so what games are what games are next? I got it. I don't I even to, know what's coming out next. I still need to finish Infamous and South Park, and then I don't really have a plan for Diablo three. Like I don't know what I'm really doing mm-hmm. with it. Um, like I need to get a character to seventy, but beyond that, like. Um, I'm just playing with the different classes and getting stuff. I, I'm i really looking forward to playing... I bought Yaba Ninja Gaiden Z because I read a dumb review that really hit home with me. So I think I'll have fun with that. Um, it'll hit my Devil May Cry fix there for a little bit. Um, but I don't recommend it to anyone else. <laughs> um, what is... Call oh, Dark Souls 2 PC. Yes! Good call. Good call. And, and then Daylight also. Yeah, so I, I got... Daylight confused with uh, Deadlight and shit. What is the other? What's the dead? What are the Deadlight oh. guys working on? Day. What's their parkour zombie game? De, 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 oh, shit. De, uh, er, burp, de, de, shoot. I don't. Damn it. Oh god. I'll look at. No, I don't remember. Techland. It's not games. Hold on. Dying light. <laughs> Dying light. God. So I th- I got confused that's with a, that. That's a problem. But that's a problem. So daylight procedurally generated survival horror game, and is that the one that yeah. like live streamers can actually somehow get affected? Like the crowd can somehow affect the game. So, yeah. So I don't know. And look, also looks you know, the maps look like really maze like. It could be interesting. Mm-hmm. You know we um. We, I don't remember ever talking about. Uh, we definitely didn't play, but there, there's a. Was it a? Seven a days Steam, to survive. Like a source mod. No, no, no. There, there's a. I don't remember the name of it now. Of course, like haunting, haunted. No, Haunt? I, know what I know what you're talking. There, I think Ethan played it. That multi, there's a multiplayer horror game. Yeah, where like one person. And Ethan played it, and it is like the scared yeah. the shit out of him. I think. Okay, good. I like that. I, I the concept of having the. Uh, you know, like multiplayer, yeah. Like having other humans control. Like I remember a little. You got a little bit of that uh, with some older like Half Life mods and stuff, mm-hmm. or, or like a uh, that shoot. There's another one, The Hunted, I think it was called, where you've got one guy who's uh, like escaped from this institution or whatever, and he's got some kind of predator like powers, and <laughs> he's got a knife, and oh, we he, played that he one go time. invisible, and yeah, that little multiplayer thing it was really cool. cool, and then. Like Zombie Master was fun. We got like a guy that's controlling, like you know, zombie and a creature spawns, and r- while the people are running around, uh, you know, whole... trying to survive, and that was really neat. I mean, there's so Soma's out there. I was trying to think what other, but that's I don't even think that's this year. Um, what other horror games are out there? That's that the amnesias are behind mm-hmm. us. Like horror had a good run last year, and it uh, wait, wait, wait for the follow up. Evil with the... I hope that comes out. I feel like I feel like that could be one of those games that that gets delayed again too. But that's com- because that thing's coming out for everything. I believe that's a that's yeah. a cro- that would be a cross gen video game. So yeah, um, 
I hope that I hope that's good. It looks it looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember if Ethan got hands on with it. I know he saw it when he was out at Gamescom, but I don't remember if he got hands on with it or not. But uh, I think that's that's that's. I went through like the last month of stuff. Is there anything? Oh, Jack Tritton. What do you want to say, oh, to Jack Tritton? Man, thank you, thanks, Jack. It's good. It was. E three is not going to be the same. Like Reggie's the only one left, really. Like with any sort of stage presence. That uh, I mean, even I think uh, Phil Harrison's a step up from Don Matrick on the Microsoft side, but I, I still don't like his stage presence. And uh, I mean, Jack went out on top. I mean, you can't you cannot get any better than his last mm-hmm. his last few E threes. And just you know, I I said it I said it last year, but. So Sony's press conference was the reason I continued to yeah. be fascinated with E3. You just hope that mm-hmm. that kind of stuff happens. And oh, Papa Jack, it's a uh, yeah, man. He's he's got to be so rich, <laughs> right? I guess is he just butt ass rich? Just he's also got his mob ties, and I'm sure like, good for him. His, his yeah, side business of just punching dudes. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that like all most of those management teams are at Sony and at over at Microsoft for the Xbox, like they're not sticking around for like they, they got through the launch of these consoles and they're mm-hmm. they're not sticking around for the long haul. And I mean, it's also the best time to make a change, but it's still kind of like still kind of weird that both teams have kind of uh, changed directions or, or and have have new leadership there. So, uh, but I, I I I've I'm not getting into the whole hype of, you know, consoles are dying and that kind of thing yet either. So I'm excited to see uh, the games actually start to come out for these systems. So, uh, because... Yeah, we just need games. Yeah. That's it. Because I love, I, lo- I loves my PlayStation 4 controller. That was the, the other big thing that hit me when I went back and was playing Infamous. I was like, this thing just, it just feels good. And mm-hmm. not nothing against the Xbox One controller because I still haven't held it. But, but uh, it, just being excited for next gen stuff um, that 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 felt pretty good and um, bring on the games so cool I think that's it thanks for chilling Josh yeah and uh, right everybody in chat hope you enjoyed the show and we'll be back with some more gaming uh, later this week see you next time see ya. <laughs>